The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unu Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Welcome to All In, everybody. I'm Jimmy Bell. I'm Paul Daniels. I'm Don Wisman. I'm Dave Coots. And we're missing Jeremy. I'm Les Scammo here in. for the contest. Hey. Oh, I forgot about Les. Yeah, Les is in for the big for the big shoe. <laughs> <laughs> we're still waiting for Jeremy to get in, but that's okay. We'll just let's just start this thing off. I'm gonna start off by giving out the number. It's one eight hundred five zero eight five four three one. But you might, might not hear be able music. To call. If you do stay on the line, we'll answer it right after that. Uh, if it goes to an answer machine, hang up. Yeah, call back at eight o'clock if it does. Yes. Yeah, if you can't get in now, try after eight, and it should be up. Yes. Um. What, now, what was you talking about a minute ago, Paul? You brought up a perfect name for what we're doing tonight with Les. Um, oh, guess less. Yes, Les. Explain that, Paul, what we're going to do. The best list. The, fo- the phone just rang. Yeah, it is. 5431. Might be the test number. <laughs> Hello? Hello? What's your first name and what state? This is Billy Bob. The Billy Bob? It didn't end the call. Billy Bob. There you go. What you got to say, brother? This is Billy Bob. Billy Bob, how the hell are you? I, 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 I'm doing good, you know. I, I'm just calling that. I've been listening to y'all on show. Y'all are some pretty funny motherfuckers. Y'all know that? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much, Billy Bob. We appreciate it. Where's he from? Yeah, Where are you from? Well, I'm, I'm from back there, uh, Alabama, right? Alabama, that's oh, the first nice. one we got from there. Nice. Oh, the accent does kind of... Yeah, I know, really. <laughs> Can't tell the difference between you and Les. <laughs> hey, can you do Les's voice? I, I, don't, I don't think I can do that there, but, uh, you know, uh, but I tell you what, though, y'all, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all little funny motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how would you like to be a judge tonight? Yeah, me. Uh, we got about well, five people here. Money. We got about five people here. We're gonna all copy Les's voice, and then you get to guess which one's Les. Who's Les? What? Uh-huh. I'm gonna have five different voices, and you're gonna guess one which is Les. You don't win oh, anything. I, I, I'm sure do that right there now. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to give it a shot? What? Well, well, hell yeah! <laughs> all, right, all right, do you know what? But we, we're not going to be doing it right now. Um, no, we'll do it right now. You want to do it right now? Right now. We don't got Jeremy in here. Uh, um, all right. He could call back in like um, call yeah. back in a half hour. Can you do that, Billy Bob? What? Uh, it all right. Time time. Call back in about a half hour, and we'll let you be the judge. What? If I pass out, y'all do y'all realize something? I'm not going to walk. <laughs> oh boy, man! Do I got a few comments for that one? <laughs> what? What's her name or his name? Billy Bob. Billy, Bob. Billy Bob. I'll give you a call, I'll give you a call back there later, boy. Uh, what did he say? I didn't. Catch. I, I didn't catch that either. I'm wearing headphones, Jimmy. Yeah, I know. So I'm listening to Billy the guys and him back. at the same time. Yeah, call, Billy Bob. Call back in a half hour. We'll be ready to go. We need you to judge the guest. Who is less? Guess. Less. And then I'll let you even try it. <laughs> uh, I'm your new there now. All right. All right. See you in a few, brother. Thanks for calling, bro. Thanks, Billy Bob. I think that was our most successful phone call, yes. <laughs> it went through. <laughs> uh, that sounded familiar, though. It, yeah. Oh, he does it? Hey, From Alabama? No, that voice, yeah, that voice from Alabama sounded awful familiar. Yeah, B- Billy yeah, Bob yeah. from Alabama. Does that sound a little set up? <laughs> I, I, I think I know who it is, but um, I think they're in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, was that Jeremy? Uh, 
<laughs> Did you guys notice whose mic was yeah, muted during Shadow. the call? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that with his mic shot. <laughs> Excellent. That's fucking. I, thought I don't know what the hell y'all was... talking about, man. And then you're faking the burps. I'm like, what the hell's with the burps and shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank that, you. That's where uh, uh, well, Chad was from, Alabama. Uh, hey, that's well, how naive I am. <laughs> right, well, at least we know the number one. Give it out. Yeah, one eight hundred. Hey, the number's working. That's right. Give it out. One eight hundred five zero eight five four three one. Did you hear music? <laughs> I, I didn't. No. I, I didn't hear call. Shit. Well, I mean, when Dave called, did you hear music or just ring, Dave? No, I did not hear music. Well, that's okay. good. At least we know it. At least we know the numbers up and I didn't have to hit one either. That was pretty good. Right. Let's call back in thirty minutes, Coach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll pick himself and you the can winner. be the judge and the contestant. <laughs> I win. I yeah, win. Isn't that, isn't that a conflict of interest? Yeah, a little bit. Mm. Hey, you guys said less. You can't change your voice. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's why a lot of game shows in Boston <laughs> because they all end up that way. There's a lot of people wanting to have us to give them some fun tonight. You guys, a lot of people are mad. We need to get people laughing tonight. Uh, I heard. I'll tell I you. Think what, we I think we are already. I know I'm in a good mood. I, I am too. Foot, um, video last night. I was laughing my ass off. I thought that was fucking great. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> Les. Hey, this is the closest I've ever been to uh, being a celebrity. So hey, <laughs> I'll take it. Oh boy, it, Jeremy's still not in. I'll tell you. Yeah, I've been working on it, but it's tough for me. I, I, well, yeah, we can't be working on the... Uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to do that. It's going to be hard tonight. We should have come up with the script is what we should have done. I, know, I hate scripts, every, I know, but it, it, that's the only way you're going to... Try doing it off the top is pretty good, too, so... Yeah, because uh, the fuck the funny part. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, yes, oh, who, um, who's that? Um... I wanted to tell you guys tonight that I, I learned how to do something yesterday. Um, for the first time in my life, you guys, I learned something. Blowjobs? No, no, I don't do that. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Million, learned, billion? Yeah. No, I, I, I'm proud of myself. I actually learned how to make ice yesterday. Um, I got ice? in the freezer. The, the ice tray was empty, and that's never been empty before because my wife always takes care of that, right? Yeah. So, um... So as I had to get the ice tray out of the freezer, and I filled it up, I put it back in the freezer, an hour later, my God, Don made some ice. I'm proud of myself, man. You made some yeah. ice. Yeah, I you made know ice. Would you yes. flip the lever? Yeah, you know what the recipe is, right? It's water and electricity. Yes, and you <laughs> stick, you, you, you put it in an ice tray, and that freezer will turn that water into ice, brother. I learned that yesterday. <laughs> wow. How long do you have the refrigerator? I'd love to see the science What is the freezer? I stuck Ohio. in the freezer. The freezer. Um, an hour. Oh, the freezer. I thought yeah. it was the refrigerator. No, it won't well, work in the fridge, Jim. I pulled the ice tray out. It was empty. Usually, Linda has our ice trays full, so I said, hmm, I've got to make ice for myself tonight. I thought he so, was talking to the door thing. No, oh. no. I wish. Oh, God, that'd be a, that'd be a nice uh, refrigerator. Everything would freeze, but um, Jimmy, you will, you can make ice in a freezer by yourself without having a wife. A man can do it. I do it all the time. So, I'm a grown-up. It's well, calling flash, boys. Hey, but it's a, it, it was a, it was an accomplishment for me to make ice, guys. We're, so. all in we're, we're proud of you. We're proud thank of you, you, Donald. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank See, you. See, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Yes, I learned how to make ice. Now next, I'm going to try to learn how to make toast and butter. Well, you make nice. me proud, buddy. You make me proud. Thank maybe you. Next, maybe next time you might want to learn how to make some comedy. Now, if you could <laughs> shoot a lot of things <laughs> with an assault rifle, that might really make me proud. I did a video for you with a salt <laughs> rifle. Yeah, I know. I'm um, saying if you can hit something, you should be at the target range and, and video in there. That's where I did the other day. Um, I did a video for the tar uh, the shooting range. Did you but, really? Um, yes. Um, you missed that one probably. It's in my Facebook page. But um, you Jimmy, didn't know what you did. He did show his feet, though. He did show his feet. Camera on your head and while you're shooting and aiming and we, we get to see what you shoot. Oh, you mean put a GoPro on my head? Yeah, I was just going to say oh, he'll, GoPro. He'll shoot the, yeah. yeah, GoPro. Uh, I, I, let me ask you a question. Uh, can you guys go to gun ranges out in Ohio and, like, rent you know, fully automatic weapons? 
Yes. Uh, yes. Dave, Dave is going to actually make one, uh, a couple of them, actually, for their range that he works at. Tell them, Dave. You're going to make them? No, no, don't tell them. Well, <laughs> is it a secret, Dave? I mean, uh, or is that well, something that you can't say? Or, <laughs> or no, no, no. It, it's legal. It's legal oh, for, that, oh, okay. for that to be at that range. Oh, okay. Never mind, then. I just... No, we're, well, we're going to... We're going to... We're going to... We're going. What you do is you rent, rent, you rent the magazine, mm -hmm. and you go back. You insert magazine, and you let them shoot one, one complete magazine on fully automatic, and it costs them thirty-five bucks. Ooh. And it's quick too, guys. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. done. I always wanted to fire a Thompson machine gun just for the nostalgia of it. Oh yeah, man! You talk about one of them guns that Al Capone used to use. Yeah, yeah, the Thompson machine gun. The Tommy fire gun. 40, yeah, the Tommy gun. The Tommy gun. Yeah, fires a forty-five yeah. round. I believe. Tommy gun. I think it is. They got the big round yeah. magazine. Forty-five yeah, round. The fifty clip. Uh huh. The fifty oh, yeah. drum, I should say. Well, they, they, they were they were very very inaccurate. Were they really? <laughs> like, were they used on the Valentine's Day massacre? You guys, those yeah. Tommy guns. Yep. Yep, that's what they use. Uh, a lot of people uh, during World War II were having their parents send them, you know, send their money back and having their parents send them Thompson machine guns because they scared the shit out of the enemy. Well, you must have heard my, uh, uh, what do you call it there, um, uh, yeah. messenger pop into my phone, so I'm sure you guys have all heard it. Heard but, uh, what? what was it? She's not coming in tonight. Well, we got another third hour if you'd like. We got a third hour? If we want it. If you guys can oh, keep going, oh, yeah. I mean, that's up to Arena you guys. Arena just messaged me. Ah. Uh, well, let's see how the first two go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's how we go. We'll go from yeah, there. Then we'll go well, from there. Can I give right a shout-out? Because right now, going so shrunk. <coughs> can I give a shout-out to the three people, well, guys? Well, right now, it's called Donald. Donald, Donald do you have any morning. funny stories that you've accumulated? He's trying to give a shout-out, but we're yes, jumping on it. Yes, Paul. Yes, I do, Paul. But um, can I give a shout-out to three people out there that may be listening tonight? Can you hear me, Paul? Oh, there you go. It's my headphone. Sorry about that. Okay. Can I can I give a shout out to three people that may be listening tonight? No, absolutely. Okay. Um, the first shout out I want to give to um, she's actually got her own show. Uh, two of them's got their own show on here. Um, I just talked to her today for the first time. I've been texting her. It's uh, Maria with uh, What's the Story with Maria. Um, what's her last name, Jimmy? J J Maria. Gentelli. Gentelli. She's a very nice lady. Um, she's a very happy woman. She's a she's a good woman. Music teacher. Yes, she said she was a teacher. She lives in uh, New York. Um, she's, she's a very nice woman. She said she'd be listening to the show tonight. I just met her. Um, I want to give a shout out to Shannon Griffin. I know I think she's going to be listening to our show tonight. She's got a show on here, and I want to give a shout out to my buddy Henry. He wants us to make him laugh tonight, guys. So let's we'll do try it. like hell, Henry. <laughs> we'll All right, Henry. Best. And we know Chris is listening. Chris Fitzwater from uh, Louisiana. We know he's listening. Yes, he's yes, been calling he's, it. He's loyal. He's a loyal listener. He checks our phone every once in a while. Yeah, yeah he'll we, probably be calling. We haven't gotten any calls. Uh, give out the number again. We did. 800-508-5431. Uh, call in, go. Chris. We don't care, but you'll be talking to Jimmy and Paul. But um, call, on in, call in. Call um, in. We'll have um, to do it. I'm going to take your headphones so that the rest of the people can hear them. We're going to do that again? Yeah, we'll, okay, we'll do the little it. weird thing where you guys get to talk to them. That'd be how cool. J yeah, how Jimmy did it before using my headphones. Well, you guys, I, I did I did a research today, and um, I found out, I know it's stupid, you guys think I look up stupid things, but an average person farts 14 times a day. And I told my wife that she says, I do not. We got, a, we got a phone call. We got a phone call. Hello, what's your first name and what state you calling from? Uh, call from Louisiana. This is Chris. Chris Fitzwater. Uh, Oops, I shouldn't have gave yeah, you Yeah, it's all right. It's too late now. <laughs> well, I think yeah, hold John on. already gave it on. Hold on, that's all right. Yeah, do the, uh, do the headphones. <laughs> do the headphones. It's this one. This is the live one. Oh. Which one? This one. Thanks, Chris. Guess what I learned today. Guess what how I learned today. What'd you learn? 
I learned how to make ice today, yo. I'm cooking on. I'm cooking on. Um, oh, <laughs> excellent. excellent. Oh, that's great. Hey, hey, hey guys. I see, I see it's contagious. Hey, Donald. Donald. <laughs> Donald Donald's wife. Donald's wife, Linda, just sent me a a, a picture. Donald learned another skill too. He learned how to take out the garbage. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, my wife taught me how to take garbage out last week. It's about time. At this rate, he's going to be able to feed himself in like six months. <laughs> well, she's getting on to me, you guys. I, I've been, I've been, a, I've been kind of a lazy husband here while uh, lately. Y'all keep the good work up, and um, like I said, y'all make my night every Friday night. All right, yeah, you yeah, take Chris. care, Chris. Thanks. Bye, Chris. Right, Tell man. your friends about us. His mother does <laughs> Hey, you guys. Um, Chris is um, He goes around where he lives in Derrida, Louisiana, and he wears one of our shirts and he talks about all of our shows. Um, he likes your guys' show, this show, um, our show. Um, he likes all of us, you guys. Chris is a good guy. You know, you know it's a strange feeling that um, people, you know, all over the world can listen to us. It yeah, is weird. All over. If you think it, about it's it, it's on. Yeah, it is. Well, that's where TuneIn goes. I hot. They'll go around the world. And it's just, um, I know we're And that's what talking. the tropes t- tune into. That's why we get a lot of, uh, from the tropes, because we're named Armed Radio. I, it's close to Armed Forces Radio. Right. Some of the tropes go searching. They go, you know what I mean, Armed and Radio. On here. But it turns out, when we first started this show, uh, radio station, I, I would, they were playing Armed World of Tanks, and they called it Armed Radio because of the Armed Tanks. So he huh. called it Armed Radio, and then the, they even mentioned something, the uh, Armed Forces Radio, saying you got to change your name. Yeah, because it was just too close. He says it's too close. So that's when he went to... Uh, we dropped the global. No, we went to global. Oh, we Armed put Digital Ar- Radio, right? Armed Forces Global. Oh. Was it no, Armed Radio, Armed Radio Global, Global, and then we, we went, dropped the Global. Now it's no, just no, that's Armed what Radio. I mean. He told them we wouldn't do it, and he went to Armed Radio Global. And now when he, when we broadcast, we're broadcasting to Armed Radio. So I says, how can you say Armed Radio Global? Well, then tune in. you got to go to Armed Radio to get to it. So yeah, if you put it on Radio Global and tune in, you won't get nothing. Yeah, so, so basically we went back to the back, went back to on radio. Um, radio, armed radio. Yes, but what it's you said makes sense. Been a point of confusion for a while. Well, that's why we get a lot of troops. Well, I mean, just think though, if you're listening to a radio and you're stationed in another country, you're probably not going to like the music they're playing on their dial-in radio there. You know what I'm saying? So they whatever, probably, the, whatever country you're in, yeah, I know it. And you're going to listen to like this digital radio, and you're going to yes, you're exactly. right, Jimmy. It makes sense. You can get it on the phone. Exactly. Right. It's, right. It's, it's easier to get than anything else. Actually. Yeah, like I said, that's where most of our people are listening to is probably like, on a phone. As long as you've got a satellite. Well, I mean, let's ask, satellite dish, you got, you got internet. Yeah. Well, let's ask Dave. He was across the seas. I mean, what kind of music did he listen to when he but was when over in Iraq? When we first started, our biggest customers oh, are the listen. biggest... Um, Hold on, Jimmy. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's dead. Dave? You listen, to, you listen to everything. I mean, you go. You can listen to anything from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony to Five Finger Death on the radio. No, Right, but that's not over the local airwaves. That's coming through armed. Um, that's coming through military channels. Oh, you get on local. Yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> yeah, over there, for, you might hear for prayer. Yeah. I see. I see. Lewis has been list, resting the old pipes there. <laughs> I wanted to copy it, but I'm saying I'll save it for the show. Do you, do you know what we're going to have to do eventually? We're going to have to get less one of them things that you put to your neck and uh, you talk through. Mm, it's got mm. that synthesized voice. You sound like, uh, what's his name there? Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking. Hawking. Hey, I almost had one of them, boys. Now, would you ever, like, all right, say you had that. Would Les's accent come through that? Yes. That's good question. Yeah. No, it would. would. He would still sound like a hillbilly with the electronic. No, it still sound electronic, right, but it, like would, a, it would be a hillbilly, a hillbilly robot. Right, <laughs> a hillbilly robot. That's a good one, Paul. <laughs> I like it. Epic, epic. Oh, that's good. That would. Yeah, you'd imagine. We the, gotta get that. 
some way to synthesize when he talks that we can synthesize his voice like that. Yeah, that's good. Right for, there. And he can do promos. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Dave just did a good Alabama impression. I mean, I, I, I he had me fooled for a minute. He sounded like some weirdo from Alabama. Yeah, yeah he I know. Did. He did. Yeah, yes. He, he can almost hear his daughter. Oh, and that's just because you see my mic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Chad there for a minute. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I was thinking that too when you said I think that voice sounds familiar or something. I was gonna say is that fucking Chad? <laughs> it was a good one though, Billy Bob. That, that threw me off because I think of Billy Bob Thornton, you know. And uh, I don't know. It, it, you, it, sorry, go ahead, Donald. No, that, that was it. That was it, Paul. It, it just sounded, you know, Billy Bob. He's from Alabama. It's like, oh come on! I fell for it. And his, but his mic was muted, Paul. If you look down, his mic was I, muted. I don't have and my glasses on. I can't see. That's the all. reason Donald knew it. You see my oh. mic muted. Hey, Jimmy, a call. Phone call. Hold on, hold on. We got a phone call. Speed to run. That's the way you gotta go. Swipe and then. Hey, just, uh, swipe and then speaker. I don't have my fucking glasses on. Oh, there it is. Come on. Put it up to the farm. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is working out, Pisser. Hello. Oh, for fuck's sake! Tell them to turn down their background music. Yeah, they stop playing in the back. I think that's the phone itself. Hello. H Hello. Hi. Who's this? And wh Hello? What's your first name and where are you calling from? Hey, take this goddamn thing. I'm hunched over like a. Hello. <laughs> Can you hear us? Hello. Yep. Can you hear me? I put the speaker on. What you cut it out? Uh, uh, maybe because I'm too close to the uh, microphone. No, maybe that's because we're in... What's her name? Can you hear me now? <laughs> that's Sheila. Uh, you know who that is. Uh, uh, after that, you know who that is. No, I don't. No, don't, don't say he knows who it is. Is that Sheila? No, I don't know. I'm not personally, but... You, you it's can't hear us. It's not us. It's her. She's can you hear me now? Yeah, it's got to be my phone. You, you can hear me? Yeah, I think we got to bounce this out. We got to bounce it out. We can't yeah, I gotta, stay. I, 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 I got to let you go. Call back, Sheila or whoever. Call back. From now on. From now on, it goes to Dawn. Well, yeah, because you don't get the cutting in from the microphone. I don't get the in and out. I'm in a dead spot. Yeah, we don't have the best cell phone reception. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. in a dead spot. From now on, you're going to have to take it. Uh, uh, take it out in Ohio. That's fine. I put a I put a Bluetooth speaker up to the mic too when they call you guys. Oh, that's a great idea. I never What's thought that? of that. And it makes them louder. Put it, it a makes Bluetooth. Them louder. Put it to Bluetooth. I got fucking Bluetooths up the ass at my house. Yeah, when they call, the just send your Bluetooth the phone, call. I, you send it from the phone to the Bluetooth speaker, like I do when I'm listening to music out in the yard. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Then put I the gotta, Bluetooth to your yeah, microphone. Yeah, that's much better. I can put that in front of the microphone. Yes. Yeah. That's how me and Coos does it um, when we do our show. We put that's it right. That's how up we through. do it. Yeah. That's a great idea. Great Thanks idea. for that, guys. Until we get our sound box fixed, that is. Yeah, how's that going, by the way? I don't ask Dave. Ask Dave. I don't that, know. That sound box is a pain in the ass. Yeah. All right. Like I said, we've been doing it for five years. Let's we'll try, try it again. We're going to try this again. Oh, I'm back. Hey, Les. Hello. You're listening to Armed Radio. Yes. Uh, so, uh, read any good books lately, guys? They ain't hanging up. I, it, Who is it? Ask them, Timmy, what their name Hello. is. What's your name and what state you're calling from? What's your name? Who are you calling from? Yeah, this Nothing. is a disaster. I think it's a prank, guys. I don't know. Uh, I just hung up. Chad strikes again. <laughs> can, I, can I tell everybody again, Jimmy, um, about this, about how to call in and what to do? Can I tell them? Sure. Go ahead. All please. right, listen. Everybody out there, this is a comedy show. And, yes, call in. I'll give you the number. The number is 1-800-508-5431. But when you call in, whatever you're listening to in the background, turn down the background. That way it won't reverb back. So, um, 
Yeah, just uh, turn off whatever device you're listening to and give us a call. We want to hear from you. There we go. So this is getting ridiculous. All right, here we go. I might just shut the phone off. Yeah, we may just have to shut the phone off until right. we get this. What's your first name? What state you calling from? I am calling from Louisiana. My name is Pamela Young. Right, you don't have to give your last name, hon. But that's all right. How you doing, Pamela? Hey, right. I'm doing great, and you? Good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Hey. Finally, we get a phone call that worked. Yeah, finally, one that's coming in good. Here, take my speaker. <laughs> take my headphones. So oh, guys oh, can hold, hold on one second. Oh, but you're cutting in and out. Yeah, we're in New Hampshire. Yeah, I know. But, uh, New Hampshire. I'm in a dead zone. Oh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> well, okay. no, no, know what happens? The planes go by from Boston, and it screws everything up. Boston. Boston? Yeah, Logan Boston. Airport. Yeah, we're, we're about 40 miles north of Boston. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's beautiful down here in Louisiana. It's 83 degrees today. <sighs> well, we're about 38 degrees. Oh, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> this is summertime for us. <laughs> ask her if she'd like to sew, Jimmy. You can tell her. Ask her yourself, Donald. Hey, uh, oh, Pamela. Right. Pamela, do you, do you like this show on Friday nights, this funny show? Yeah, I do. Well, thank well, you. Thank you, you Pamela. Dave, anybody? Anybody got questions? I just want to say thanks for calling in, Pamela. I appreciate your call. Not a problem. Yeah, thanks for calling. All right. You, and then, I'll ask you something. What's that? The, the content of this show doesn't call. bother you at all, hon? No. Good, see? Good. All, all right. right. We are friendly. Like I said, yeah, we usually so, talk so we're politics. not we're not we're not horribly offending her then. That's great. Right, exactly. Oh, the show's not over. <laughs> well, two of us have a show and the other two have a show and we talk politics on those shows. We come on Friday nights to talk anything else but politics. I just I've got everything to do with my life besides politics. <laughs> <laughs> my whole I don't blame her. I don't care about politics. They want to do business, so. I don't blame her. Alright, this, you this have a good night. as far away from politics as you can get. Bye, Pamela. Stay on because we're going to be doing a game show called Guess Less. <laughs> it's, 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 Pamela, less. it's less or somebody else. Uh, would you like to be the judge? Sure. All right. Let's do this. Let's do, let's do it. Are you going to do it now? Are we all going to do it now? Yeah, let's no, let's do it do now. Yeah. We got the, the phones working. Well, as, Pamela, are you going to stay on? Yeah, she's going to be the judge. Yeah, she's going to be the judge. There's going all to right. be five of us that um that we're going to all try to copy Les' voice, which you haven't heard yet. Yeah, so do you know Les? Don't say nothing, Les, yet. All right, and you haven't heard him. So we're all going to try to sound like Les, but you're going to tell us which one it is. There's five of us. So we're going to give numbers out. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you tell us which one's Les. All right? The first person, I'll go first, then Paul. No, that, well, then you just you just. Oh, it. yeah, I just, all right, forget it. <laughs> but just switch the numbers again. <laughs> somebody, somebody will start, and right after them, somebody else. All right, you just, actually, Les, you talk. No. You know no, what he sounds like. What he sounds like, exactly. Oh, okay, I guess, but quickly. Yeah, oh, okay. But... Hello. Hello, Louisiana. Okay, that's All less. Right. That's, that's less. Now you got to tell us which one's less. First person. Go ahead. You Don't guys everybody jump in at one. Well, I, I'm sorry. All right, I'll go. go. We did not really think this out, did we? No, we All didn't. Right. I'll go first. Why not? Um, who cares? Huh? Well, that obviously that's just, blows that. Yeah, that's that. You just told him who's gone. Ah, crap. Ah, All right. crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you then, boys. I was out hunting Bigfoot the other day. You don't go out hunting Bigfoot. You go out hunting something else, and that's how you find Bigfoot. Well, I'm going to tell you now. You kill a possum and you bring it to me, I'll cook that sucker up, boys, and she's really good. The possum's good. And I eat crow, too. Well, let me tell you something right down there in Louisiana. How you doing down there, darling? Well, boys, 
I think we got some problems going on here. <laughs> you know, I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one was Les? You don't even know, do you? Because Les never talked, except in the beginning. No. <laughs> I was waiting for Les to come in at the end. <coughs> yeah, it didn't happen. It didn't oh, happen. This is oh, another no. disaster. <laughs> yeah, this is. We got to come up with better ways to play this. But at least they can hear you. Good. I thought my Les was pretty good. It was. It was a tie. <laughs> who won it? Who won it, Les or Pam? Who won it? I'm going to give it to there. Paul because I know Paul watched my video. So, I'm going to go, Paul. <laughs> I watched it, too. Did I was you watch there. it? All right. That's a tie between Paul and Jimmy. Well, I watched <laughs> it, too. Oh, my goodness. Well, supposed to be this hang guy on. There, Pamela. Okay, what it's happened? a tie between... Follow Jimmy and Don. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disaster. This is a disaster. We gotta come up with something better next time. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it again, but we gotta plan it better. We gotta plan it better. You're right. Uh, yeah. Guess less. We'll do another episode of Guess Less. <laughs> Guess less. <laughs> Guess less. They want more, but they get less. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't draw numbers, so. You guys have had to figure it out. <laughs> Actually, we're getting more or less than oh I thought. <laughs> Pamela, thank you. All right, Pamela, it was great talking to you. Thanks for calling in. You've been a great person. Yeah, right. good sport. Thank you, Pam. And you have a good evening. You have a good night. Yeah, let me grab my headphones. Good I got her address and I would have said... Well, boys, we know we got some leave one listener. <laughs> I, there, there's all kinds of people listening to this show. This show is taking off, guys. Yeah, it's uh, Les. We could come up with a way better be. name for your show by using Les. There's so many things you can do with Les. No, you mean on schedule? Yeah, le Les is more, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Great names to the show. You know what I mean? I don't get the on schedule. What does that mean, uh, Les? While you're on the show, you might as well plug it. Yes. You know what? Um, go actually name that... Um, Joe named it? Yeah, I was going to oh. call it uh, politics, religion, and um, <clears throat> whatever. And my voice is going again. I'm telling you, I'm still, I'm still liking less, some, less is more. Yeah, with less but, uh, time. <laughs> so I was going to name it politics, religion, and uh, yep. whatever. And uh, so Joe come up with that. And it's not too late to change the name. I'd rather have a name you like and not what Joe likes. Less You're only going to change it later. Less is more. Well, you know. No, you don't does. even have to go with Paul's. Just come up with something you want. Yeah, whatever you want. I'm just throwing suggestions. Because I know I'm going to have to start changing all the files later. It's a real pain in the ass when you yeah. change the name. Yeah. We had well, one guy that changed his, the name of his show like three, four times. It was getting ridiculous. Uh, I, I kind of like that, that, guys, because uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of things, um, you know, uh, that's unexpected in our life. And uh, so, I mean, we plan a lot of things in our life, but a lot of unscheduled things happen to us. So, I like I like your song, Ball of Confusion. Yeah. I was listening to the Mia Paul when brother. I did it. I, I made the intro and the exit. Yeah, he played it for me. I didn't know the song, but when he played it, I was like, yeah, that's that, that's got a nice sound. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. listening to the words and still, it's still true today. Just oh, like yeah. um, Eva, Constru Eva, Do Eva yeah. Destruction. It's still relevant today, the Middle East. Everything that's going, <laughs> everything that song is about. Is what's going on today? Exactly, yeah. and it come out in the '60s. History does have a nasty yeah. habit of yeah. repeating so, itself. <laughs> but um, I really like the name because I think it coincides with the way I'm gonna do the show. So I'm gonna leave it yeah. like it is. I think it'll work. Right. It, yeah, I, I agree. I, actually, now that you come, now that you talk, you know that it's unscheduled <laughs> on the on the fly. Kind of like how we do our shows. Nothing well, you know, uh, uh, you plan vacations. 
uh, you plan for your children, you plan yeah. for your retirement, and then you get blindsided by the things that's unscheduled in your life. And um, so that's the basis. Like I say, I think I can make that work. Yeah, it sounds all right, man. Yeah, that no, sounds, sounds like, like a great yeah. concept. Um, why don't you uh, get, give us, because you know it's, it, when do you premiere? Next Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, yeah. all right. At what time? 7, 7 p.m. Okay. Eastern. All right, well, I'm just trying to get trying to get it out there to the folks. Now, what are you, an hour behind us still in Texas? Oh, you're in Ohio. No, he's in Ohio. Oh, no, no, you sound I'm like he's in Texas. Texas. And we've established Ohio is in the same time zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's in the same time zone? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I, I didn't guess. think it was either. I didn't think I it was I thought either. New York was in a different time well, zone. No. Is, is Indiana no. still in a different time zone, Dave, or less? Indiana no, still it's still in the same time zone. So what the heck did they do with the Eastern Time Zone? They must have expanded that sucker, didn't they? Yeah, it seems like it's it all well, right. part. If you go, if you go up by Chicago, I think Gary might be part of part of Indiana up that way. Might be Central Time. Yeah, I know Chicago isn't in our uh, time zone. I know it's that. Kind of it's it is no, no, Chicago, no, it's not Chicago's not on Central. Not. It's not well, you guys, we used to be able to drive uh, less than a half hour. And we would go into Indiana. That was the line, and we'd be an hour, you know, ahead of time. You'd be an hour behind ourselves. Right. It was weird. Right. I mean, then they changed everything, so the Eastern Time Zone did get bigger. But um, Tennessee's an um, uh, an hour behind us. All the way down to Florida. No, I think uh, the Eastern Time Zone like runs up and down. Like Florida's an Eastern Time Zone too. Yeah, not the PM. Florida don't change their time anymore. Oh, they don't. Well, we pass through all the world. Um, they don't change it anymore. Arizona what, doesn't either. Yeah, what is it stay? Like, Arizona. No, Arizona don't. So it ain't called no time zone then? I mean, just, does it stay at a certain well, no, they yeah, standard time? Either standard or constant. Um, yeah, they don't switch. They don't do daylight savings. Oh, now, now what is there? There's specific time. There's Eastern Time, Central Time. Is that it? Mountain now? Time. Now, mountain they, Time. There's Eastern, mountain Central, time. Mountain, Pacific. Mountain, Pacific. mountain Pacific. No more, time. Yeah. Pacific. Out of time. Yeah, you know, East, there's an old, Indi- there's an old Indian proverb that yeah. goes out. It sounds like a bunk of drunk it, an first grade is trying to get a story straight for the test. Yeah. It does, don't it? There's an old Indian proverb, though, that says only a white man would cut a piece off the top of the blanket and add it to the bottom of the blanket and think that it makes the blanket longer. <laughs> well, yeah, but it, it does serve a purpose. What's that? And so when people get up in the morning, it, that, that it's light out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's Jeremy in the lobby, you guys. Well, uh, see, there is, uh, makes uh, sense in a lot of it because when you get up in the morning, uh, it's lighter out. And that way, there the kids are going to school, and nobody's running them over. Yeah, it's not dark. That's and also, point. when it comes back at nighttime, it gets dark at three or four o'clock or five o'clock. The kids are already home by then. Yeah. So the whole idea, what they did this, or well, actually they did it for farmers. Right. But what makes farmers. sense to keep it is for the kids. Yeah, Dave. Oh. You don't like getting up early in the morning to go feed the goat, and it's dark out, right? <laughs> I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there it is. That's the first time I heard it. Uh, yeah, feeding the goat, Dave. Do you feed it or does your wife feed it? Uh, she she does, and, and the kids do. I, that ain't none of them animals is my babies. Now wait to me, they'd all be on the fryer. Is it time to call for a goat update? Is it time to do that, or you want to wait could, later? Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, we can do that no, in the second hour. You guys want the goat update? Yeah, yeah, no, we'll do it the first second hour. Doing yeah, the second right. hour is usually We're sucks. using up all our skits early. That's all right. <laughs> all right, goat up. Here, here, here we go with the goat update. There were two posted on Facebook. The goat made its first appearance outside the stall today in, into its its normal pen. Uh, so uh, the goat's growing. Almost time to get ready to put that sucker up on the grill. Moving on up. How old is it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's probably like three weeks. months old. Oh, Hasn't like it gained months. weight? Um, didn't you get? Didn't say that's like something about it gaining it's weight? Like two months. Three old. months. Yeah, it's three getting fatter. It's getting fatter. Does that make it an adult at three months? Like a cat's usually adult at one year. When's a uh, goat becoming? Well, an adult? you know. 
a goat, <laughs> a male <laughs> goat can reap it in six weeks. <laughs> Twelve years old. <laughs> What, uh, what, why, why is it hard to carry on a conversation with a goat, you guys? Why? Because he's always but. putting in. Oh, God. What do, you call, me. what do you call a goat at sea? At sea? Yeah, a goat what? at sea. Billy Ocean. <laughs> uh, no! One more, one more, guys. Uh, one more, make more. It quick. What do you call a goat on a mountain? A mountain a goat. A hillbilly. A hillbilly. No! Hillbilly. No! Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no! You got your name originally. Well, all right. I got another one. I got another one. Oh, please let's hear it. Who did the goats vote for, oh. for as president? Obama. Nope. Billy Clinton. <laughs> I like yours better too, Jimmy. I'm done with the way more, way more current. <laughs> yeah. You gotta stay current with your well, jokes. But that wasn't old, and that's why Obama wasn't even president when that came out. Yeah, but you update. You update your jokes. Well, he's right, gonna what's, he gonna, what's next? He's gonna have a joke about fucking Fillmore? <laughs> Who's Fillmore? <laughs> president Fillmore. <laughs> That's a good one, man. No, but the okay. guys, they, they were having a conversation. We got another phone call. That's the last. What's your first name and what state you calling from? What a great way to enter into a call. Ohio. Ohio? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this, Shannon? This is Dana. This is Dave's wife. This is whose wife? Oh, Dave. Dave. It's Dave. This is your wife. Yeah, yeah. take my headphones. Hold on. <laughs> this is Dave's boss. <laughs> this, this I want to hear. <laughs> the show may be taken a way better time. I'm talking about the goat. <laughs> okay, no! I know they're able to hear you. Yeah, we're killing that goat. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, yes, you can hear we them can now. hear you. No. No. The goat He's eating regular food. He's doing all that good stuff. And David is not allowed to eat the goat. <laughs> That's what he says. No! That's not what he says. <laughs> David just called in and said, David, I'm, 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 I'm eating the goat. Hey, there's going to be a I missed your name. name. What's your name again? Dana. Dana. Dana, how old is the goat? Hold on. You guys are you breaking go? up. Hold on. Yeah, we get horrible reception here. It's always when I'm near yeah. the microphone, though. Yeah. Can you have I think he's like two months old. Hey, if you guys want any dirt on Dave, right now it's time to talk to his wife. <laughs> yeah, we're sorry. We've gotten one phone call that come through today. There's got to be a plane what? going by. Listen to Donald trying to throw Dave under the bus. <laughs> Tyler wearing his tinfoil hat. <laughs> uh, you guys hear me now? Yep. Thank yes. Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Now she's cutting up. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> I, I'm, eat, I'm eating that damn goat. <laughs> You're not going to eat him. He only weighs about 10 pounds. Exactly. What the hell well, are you going to eat him? Bill, I'm Bill. Going to, I'm Bill. going to wait for it bigger. That goat is going to be like 100 You got these squirrels. They weigh like 2 pounds. Give me my uh, Bluetooth. <laughs> I'll give people my number to call. <laughs> I she didn't name it. So Dave, what is that? Here for nothing. Was like, oh, what was that? They have uh, pants of Tawny Phil. Oh, pants of Tawny Phil. Yeah, what was that? Groundhog. Groundhog. You that's what left me. That's groundhog. a groundhog. Who does it? Groundhog <laughs> soup. You sound well, yeah. like well, fucking gravy. Well, yeah. well, you kill yeah, squirrels well, and make squirrel gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Never had it. Oh. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a good night. Have Thank fun. you very much for calling. Take care. No! <laughs> All right, bye. That goat. Sounds I'm, I'm calling for you today, Dave. Looks like no goat for you. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey he's going to uh, kill you, goat, boy. It might not be that particular goat, but one of them goats in that barn is going on my grill. What <laughs> <are they doing? laughs> oh, you got a bunch of them. How many yeah, there's three of them out there oh. right now. Well, one would die of loneliness, wouldn't it? A lot like Dixie. Now there's three, so I can kill one of these. 
<laughs> I didn't catch it. Uh, hey, uh, that was Jimmy. actually me, the first one. Jimmy and Paul, um, if you guys, I don't care if you guys get my number out. I really don't give a crap. But I've got my Bluetooth speaker out. If you guys want people to call my phone, that's fine. Bye. Right, yeah. Well, you want to give me a phone? You want I don't care. I, I don't care who calls me. I'll just block them later. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's cool. uh, if anybody wants, since Jimmy and his phone are cutting out, they're having trouble. They're, 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 they don't have good reception. So call my number instead of the 1-800 number. My, my number is 513. Get your pens out. 513-435-6600. Call in. Hey, that's not the number he gave me. The hell's up with this? You what? son of a bitch. You got my number. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> of course I'm lying. That's what I do for Christ's sake. Yes, we do it for living. You, you're good at it, too. And Dave's Heck. number is 1 800. <laughs> 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 Just call in if you have any goat-related questions. Well, you, guys, you guys, Paul, uh, I was telling you guys something, but a call interrupted. It says, which is fine, but I was telling you guys something I looked up um, the other day about a person farts 14 times a day. And I read this, and my wife said, no, we don't. Nobody does that too many times. <laughs> this is even in your sleep, you guys. And yeah, Exactly. I mean, they don't realize it, but you do fart when you're in your sleep. And uh, there's a whole article about farts, you guys. People are fascinated with farts. It's still hot, Mike. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't don't hear it. No, I'm not hearing it either, but they're hearing it on that end. So every once in a while, I'm just going to go, uh-huh, randomly. Uh Keep it from happening, okay? Or just pop it like you guys was last time. Just tap it like you guys did. Yeah, just do that. I I don't don't care. Whatever it takes. I just don't want to What I do is I... Turn it on, shut it off. No, do that. That's fine. I just. I noticed uh, since Les is here, none of you guys are doing your Les impressions. We already we did. did. <laughs> we screwed it up. We, we already did. We <laughs> already messed it up. They blew it. It was a case of They blew it. <laughs> Tell us all again. Guess less, right? Guess less. Guess, guess, guess the less. Guess the less. <laughs> you got to come up with a better plan. You're right. Yeah. Oh, that was funny though. Get a restitution, rather. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like the sound of that, but I don't get it organized, boys. <laughs> yeah. You know we're gonna need you every time because you're gonna have to be one of us. <laughs> I'll give you the first hour. Either that, I got. You know what I do is I can always tape if you want. If you don't want to come on, and we can tape segments. Yeah, segments. Yeah, we can do that shit. We can. Uh, you know what I mean? It it, it it comes in a little blocky when you're trying to transition. But we have the technology. But at least you we get have the, the technology. Yeah, we well, have you the know, technology. this Friday nights just uh just kind of got in the way of other things. You know, like having the weekend off and right. all that right. stuff. You That's know, that's exactly. We could do it earlier in the week. You know, and um, I think it'd be cool if they built a six million dollar less man like that. Remember the six million dollar man? Six million dollar, six million less. dollar less. We can build him stronger. We can make him faster. We what, have what the technology. What, what do you Paul sound like? has the technology. Yes. I mean, so we could do it six o'clock on uh, Wednesdays. You come on at seven. So if you want to do it earlier or whatever. That'd be cool. Yeah. And with that yeah. bionic eye, he'd be one hell of a squirrel hunter. <laughs> Yeah. Then we need to make something. If somebody screws up on the show, they get the boots from Coots. Les Skymo, a man barely alive. We can <laughs> rebuild him. Sometimes can, that's right. Yeah. We can make him faster. <laughs> bionic, bionic yeah. Skymo. Could, could it get any worse? <laughs> and he gets uh, a bionic voice, too. He gets a bionic voice. See. Yeah. Yeah. I've almost got one of them now. No shit. What? Well, that's that's what I was talking about earlier. Paul was talking about getting less one of those little things to talk out of. The CB still sound like a hit coming through uh, one of those voice yeah. lines. Hey, I tell you what, though, boys. I'm kidding aside. Yeah. I've had a tracheotomy right after my surgery. Boys, that's something you never want. That's, Paul, that's oh, terrible, I, see, man. I, 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 I didn't know that last. I so. saw it on Mash once. I wouldn't want yeah, that. Either. I, I didn't yeah. know that last. So I it, no, that no, was no. an unintentional joke or two. No, brother, you don't have to apologize for that. I, 
I'm not that thin skinned, brother. Oh, I'm getting a call. <laughs> but, uh, oh, we're getting a phone call. Yeah, I'm getting oh, a call, yeah. but it's from Chris, you guys. It's from Chris. Let's see how, let's see how good we hear him, okay? You ready? Yeah, yeah let's see. Check it out. Hello, uh, is this Chris? Yes, it is. Hey, Donald. Hey, can you guys hear him better now? Ax yes, we can. Yes, and we you can. don't have to hit the button. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, no, no. Chris, um, I know you didn't get to say what you wanted to say earlier, so the guys... Okay. Now they won't. You won't be able to hear them, but they can hear you. What do you want to say? Hey, tell Dave to put that damn goat on our grill and cook his ass. I guess you heard that, Dave. He said, "Put the grill on." No, his Dave ass. didn't hear it. He disconnected. <laughs> well, Dave just sound left for some reason. He's He'll be out. Back in. He went to get the goat. All right. Anything else you want to tell everybody? One vote for yes. Grill the yeah, goat. Grill the goat. Good <laughs> I got a question for uh, um, for a couple of your um, your um, producers on the phone. For Jimmy and Paul, go ahead. Yeah. So, um, I know I talked to you about this already, but um, ask them. I got a smartphone. Okay. I got a stupid one. Um, is there any way I can get on that radio station with that? Uh, like be a host. Yes. No. Yeah, uh, you could. Host? That's up to Jimmy. Um, I'd have to give you Jimmy's number, Chris, and you'd have to talk to him about that. Um, so, you know, about being. Yes, a, you uh, could. But now, uh, uh, Jimmy, okay. Jimmy said you could be a host on his show, but um, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the, we got enough hosts on the show. Yeah, what we can do is have guests. We can have guests. That's it. A guest, not not a host, Chris, but a guest. Jimmy and him said, yeah, yeah you can a be guest. a guest. Yes. Yeah, a guest. I'm sorry. Well, that's my bad. I said host. I Absolutely. Said host. Do you want to? Do you want to um, give him? It's all right, man. Do you want to give him, uh, Donald, to give him your number? No, I'll give you his number later on. After, oh, um, after I you get done with the show, then um, I give him. A, I give him mine. Yeah, yep, I'll give. That's all I I'll said. Give I'll get you on Facebook. I, I yeah. Um, I'll, I'll I'll hook you up with Jim. It's Jim Bell on Facebook. Just um, send him a friend request, uh, Chris. Jim's already got him. I do that. I think I already got him as a friend. Yeah, you're already friends, so um, Jimmy will send you his number, and you guys can talk. All right, yeah, man. Or just call on Messenger. Yeah. Or um, uh, anything else you want to say, Chris, before I get off here, brother? No, that, no, that was it. Um, how All do you right. like the show? How do you like Friday night's show? I like it, man. It's I don't man. like it when people get entertainment with phones. All right, well, I'll talk to you later, buddy. All right, man, later. All right, bye. It is a big bring down, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it kind of stops the momentum, but what are you going to do? Exactly. you got to have people call in. They have to have an input, you know right. what I mean? True. It's, it's, a, it's a necessary evil. It is. <laughs> yeah, but it's out of the way that, that way that so I'm Justin off. Wilson is dead. Uh, that Cajun cook. Maybe you can, Joe, give him a Cajun cooking show. Who's you this? Know? Who's this? Uh, Chris. Oh, we cook? Uh, He's a chef? Old Cajun, uh, used to have his own cooking show. I got yeah, I used to watch uh, Justin York. Wilson growing up. Where's he from? Yeah, New Orleans? Yeah. Alright, it sounds good to me. Bring back the Cajun cooking with Chris, uh, whatever his last name is. <laughs> <laughs> Fitz Fitzwater. Fitzwater. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> let's let's, let's just do that. Uh, yeah. Les isn't only the uh, he got his own show. Now he's booking fucking talent. <laughs> <laughs> he's an agent. Moving yeah. <laughs> right on that bus. <laughs> yep, he's becoming a regular fucking Harold Hecuba here. <laughs> oh, Gilligan's Island again. I love that. Yes. I love that, that that term because it, it's like the guy did everything. <laughs> Joe's gonna look out for his job as owner. It seems like. <laughs> Don't uh, take me long, boys. I'm a fast learner. A Les Skymo production. There you go. Starring Les Skymo as uh, Les Skymo. Produced by Les Skymo. Directed <laughs> by Les Skymo. Edited by Les Skymo. Sound effects, Jeremy Gibbs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you give me an idea, man. Yeah, I was thinking about the guy that fucking uh, cleans my carpets, giving him a show. I can't believe you brought up Harold Hecuba, though. I can't believe he you sucks. bring that up, man. Harold Hecuba. There it is, hippie! <laughs> Harold Hecuba was not a hippie. 
though. He was a guy who didn't he have glasses and stuff and wore that. Yes, producer? he did. He was the one of them was from the fifties. What was in the fifties there before hippies? Phil Silvish. Oh, oh, the beatniks. Beatniks. Beat That's what yeah. it was. It was a beatnik. Yep. And got minors. What is Bob Dylan? Bob, Bob, Bob He was a beatnik. Yep. Bob Dylan was stage show. Stage back show. before uh, talkies come along. Bob Dylan was like uh, Charlie Chaplin. Was that yeah. before? Was that Tyler like Silent, silent TV shows or just uh, plays? Both. Oh, okay. So that's dead though. Bob Dylan's gone, isn't it? That oh, they Christ. still do plays there. <laughs> it was good for the one-liners like Henny Youngman and stuff. Uh, yeah. The Three Stooges. I mean, it had its place. <laughs> well, oh, you, yeah. Your entertainment choices were pretty limited. Limited then, then. exactly. Yeah. You're doing it on stage and trying to entertain a drunk crowd. I, I like well, where all your mu musicals uh, come from uh, was from your vaudeville. Uh, that's where the right. Three Stooges started out. Yeah. Vaudeville. Everybody started on Vaudeville. Yep. What about uh, Laurel and Hardy? Yeah, I'm guaranteed they started there. Absolutely. Right, but uh, that's like having American Idol today and these people are yeah. getting famous off of well, it. It's just early competition shows. And, and a lot of these guys were making movies and stuff like that, right? And, and you know, or they were famous for being performers and stuff, but they were in movies they would tour with Vaudeville when they weren't making movies, kind of like um, rock groups tour to promote yeah. their albums. Right. Well, who come up with that thing, um, Who's On First? That big guy. That was Abbott and Costello. Abbott and Costello. Yeah, it was aggravating as hell. But it's, an aggravating skit. A, aggravating skit. a lot of people have hey, done that, good, though, uh, ain't they? It's pretty good, like though. It. Oh, it was definitely good. Great for its time. Yeah, it drew, time. drew on too long, though. It, it like a, a, that's like the Andrew Dice of that time, you know oh, what I yeah. mean? Yeah, isn't there like a uh, Chinese ball player that's, the dice a, man. First, that's a first baseman? His name is Who? Well, yeah, Who? Yeah. Hey, well, you know, um, Fred and Ethel <laughs> that was on Lucille Ball Show, uh, they was like <laughs> little actors. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of your um, uh, 40s and 50s movies, that's where they all come from. Yeah, I would imagine um, uh, like Bob Hope and all them did it. Oh, yeah. 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 You know? Then they went into radio. Then they went into movies. Right, right. And then on to television and then USO tours. <laughs> it evolved. You know, you can go back and look at how it evolved. Uh, but now I tell you what, I watch that Turner, Turner uh, classic movies all the time. Right. The, the caliber of actors and actresses back in that day, what these, these, these uh, so-called actors and actresses we have today are not worthy to tie their shoes, man. Uh, no, I totally agree. Classy. That yeah, so that's... Classy. And everybody could dance. Everybody could dance and or sing. You don't but, see that today. No, you don't. Only a karaoke. Yes. Let's let's still think talking for fat. a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna go to commercial, folks. We'll be back in uh whatever two minutes. All right. Hey, I think Dave's having trouble with his mic, you guys. He's having... Hey, that's a sweet AK-47 chest rig. Is that multicam? Yep. Got it from StrikeHardGear.com. Strike what? StrikeHardGear.com. Set your sights on StrikeHardGear.com. Tough, tactical gear for your Soviet-style weapon that's made in the USA. Affordable, plus a no-questions-asked 30-day money-back guarantee and lifetime replacement warranty. StrikeHardGear.com. Go ahead. Pull the trigger. Everyone, you got the 215L. Doesn't matter what kind of sandwich, sir. I'll explain later. Thank you, sir. Jimmy John's. Come in. Sir, did you know your house is on fire? Yes, I did. Grab a bucket. Jimmy John's. Come in. Sir, did you know your house yes, is on fire? Grab a bucket. Jimmy John's. Come in. Sir, did you know? Yes, I did. Grab a bucket. Jimmy John's. Come in. Sir, did you? Yes, I did. Grab a bucket. Fire department. Come in. Sir, did you know you? It's okay, Captain. We got it handled. Care for a sandwich? Thanks, but tell me something. Shoot. Why didn't you call the fire department first? I did. Jimmy John's, America's favorite sandwich delivery. Hey everyone, I want to tell you all about an amazing salon. 
Joyce's, located at 132 Ferry Street in Everett, Massachusetts. Joyce's specializes in the latest techniques in coloring, styling, cutting, and beach waves. Joyce's features Sukesha all natural nutrient products in organic color. Joyce's full service spa and salon, located at 132 Ferry Street, Everett, Massachusetts. 617 387 6688. Specializing in you. I'm hearing it, you guys. Why, where? He's, no, he's having a hard time hearing you. Oh, me? No, not uh, he's hearing us fine. Oh, you having a hard time yeah, hearing you guys are, fine? Yeah, We're I'm, back on air, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> well, what, another fucking... Hey, everybody, welcome man. back to second hour. This is the second hour. All right, so what do we got? This work know, gets dirty. like two hours now already. This All right, so... You must have something up your sleeve, Donald, that you've been waiting to talk about. Something up my sleeve? I've got a lot of stuff up my sleeve. Um, uh, what are you waiting? Well, um, the first thing I'm going to tell you guys, I, I did do I did do some research. Now, this is an average person. Can you guys hear me good, Jimmy, by the way? Yes. yes. All right, I guess Dave's, the only, Dave's having a problem. He can hear only hear you two. But anyway, I, this is not really dirty. This is something corny. But um, I thought you guys might find it interesting that an average person... That, that sleeps eight hours a day, which I know that's not Jimmy. He's not an average person. Neither is Dave. But I was reading this article that said an average person that, lives, that sleeps at eight hours a day that lives to the age of 75. You know how many hours of their life or how many years of their life that they spend sleeping? If you live to be 75 and you sleep eight hours a day. Yeah, go to 75. Yeah. Well, it would be 25 years of their life they spent sleeping, you guys. Imagine. That's a third. That's a third. Yeah. Third. yeah. I mean that's 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 a long time for a guy to sleep, you guys. I mean, but that's. Oh, I used to sleep and wake up four hours later, and then take another four hours to fall asleep for two. They say I seen a thing on TV on um like Nova or something like that, and they said originally people used to sleep in two shifts of four hours. That's how we evolved. To really. Sleep. Now Within 12 hours, yeah, you slept four and then another four. Uh, yep. During the heat of the day, you would I'd sleep. I'd be lucky if I sleep there four a night. I could, same here. If That's what alone, I used to be. If but, left alone, I can sleep 10 hours easily. Really? No. Oh, God, yeah. Don't I sleep work. four. I could be stone cold shit face falling on my face. Four hours later, I wake up stone cold sober. I do that because I'm dying of dehydration. No, yeah, I wake up because I, I, I just can't stay asleep. I either you're thinking. thirsty or you got to pee. It's only yeah, every exactly. night. Well, right, every yeah. dag on night, Well, man. peeing is different, but, I, you know, peeing, that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> when I was younger, I wasn't have to get up and pee. It. It's just I just woke up. Uh, I'm a wicked light sleeper. That's the problem. Same man. here. Well, where did the whole eight-hour moves. thing come from? I mean, why do they say people should sleep eight hours a day? I mean, uh, what? Who, who who brought up this? Concept? Straight hours, eight hours. That's you know point. what I mean? That's when it's the best. Not two hours, four hours, and then two hours. Well, I'm like you though, Jimmy. I'll sleep for an hour or so, then I got to get up to pee, or I, I got to get up to get something to drink. So I'm not really getting eight hours sleep. Right, tonight. you're not because you're constantly waking up. That, that's why it takes. Uh, it's not sleeping pills because it's not addictive, but what it does is it lets you sleep through the night. I got so you're you. not getting up four hours later yeah, like I do. The thing is, all the best TVs on at night. It is. It is, you guys. The I mean, best TVs on late at night. <laughs> You just got to remember to take the pills before he go to yeah, bed. Yeah, sleep all day. <laughs> and my wife takes this natural stuff. I forget what it's called. It starts. And there's nothing good on at night. That they go to sleep with a natural sleeping aid. I forget the name. Monotone. Of the stuff. Was it monotone? Mel- 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 melatonin. Melatonin. Yes, yeah. and Melatonin. she said it knocks her out. I take Xanaxes, you guys. I, I'm I take Xanaxes. <laughs> I take Trazodone. It's not oh, even what it is. That stuff makes me smothered, Jimmy. I've tried that. It makes me smothered like I can't breathe or something, man. Really? Yes, I've tried that. No, I've been on it since 2006. The only reason why I can sleep more than six hours. I keep forgetting <laughs> it, taking it lately because I drink and I figure I just pass out. I don't need it. Yeah. Four hours later, I'm wide awake. I'm up at 7.30. Hey, Dave, Dave, you were taking Dave, how's your, Dave, how's your lumbago going? 
See, now we're all talking about our illnesses oh. on the air. <laughs> My <Yeah>. what? <laughs> you little bago. He, I think he's being facetious. I'm, I'm, I'm being a jerk. These two are talking about their fucking medications. Right, we'll be done. <laughs> Come on, I don't know what we started. Well, you know, that's what happened to get old. Yeah, the mother of the topic. I, I don't have one off the top. Oh, of my head. so you want to interrupt, but you want to come up with the new one? Hey, but it's a Paul. About it. They're talking, talking about, about waking Xanax. They're talking about waking up middle of the night to go pee. I'm, I mean, I'm still young enough. I can sleep through the night before I got to get up to pee. I don't usually. Hey, 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 Dave. Cut that I out. Don't. It's usually early in the morning. <laughs> well, I want to tell you guys. Um, I don't know if you're, you guys remember back in the '80s. You guys remember Coca-Cola and Pepsi? How they had the the cola wars? They called them. Remember that the cola wars? You remember that, right? Um, yeah, I was doing I the actually, Pepsi. Yeah, they, uh, the, I actually the taste taste say taste Pepsi and a Coke guy getting a fight in front of the old dairy That's what, for a while. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, just like the presidents we was talking about last night. When I was a kid and they had them cola wars, I don't know why Coca-Cola and Pepsi didn't get all their workers together, put them in their uniforms, put them in a stadium, and let them go at it. Uh, uh, yeah, style. Yes, yes, it's like the presidents fighting, you know, Biden and Trump. Let's let the cola wars. <laughs> they call it cola wars. By God, let them fight. Uh, Pepsi exactly. Fight. Pepsi versus cola in their uniforms, and let's see who wins. You know, and uh, whoever wins, that's what kind of pop we buy. Co you know, co like I wanted to know how no, many pictures of Trump the fuck off having of a woman compared to Joe Biden. Co Coke would have a definite advantage because his uniforms uh, are red, so you wouldn't see the blood. The CEO of uh, Pepsi Cola is a big time fucking Hillary Clinton fan, liberal loving bitch. Oh, but, yeah, you know. really? Big, big surprise. So, do you think the guys from Cola would win over, or Coke would win over uh, Pepsi? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, that would be neat. I don't know. And another thing, you guys, Walmart. Do you guys realize that Walmart has more employees than we have soldiers in our military? It doesn't uh, well, surprise me. I'm, it's weird, though. I mean, it's just weird. Thing. No, it doesn't. Walmart could have a bigger army than the United States of America. Well, and like, they got guns. <laughs> no, oh, I can't. Scary. Yes. Some of this, them you, do. you know how Walmart promised $1,000 bonuses since the, the big tax break and all this Wait, stuff? No no politics. Through? Well, sorry, got to go with this because I no, just heard this so like uh, 20 or 30 minutes ago. Uh, I was in Walmart getting a network cable, and uh, he was the kid behind the counter was telling me that only people who had been there at least, uh, I believe, two years or more were getting the $1,000 bonuses. He said he'd been there eight months, and they gave him 18 bucks. That's well, do you know what? But yeah, he, so Walmart uh, misled Paul on that. I don't know. I don't mind that. You know, it, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, I get it. You gotta but, kind of put in the time. Yeah, they can't give it to every everybody. Yeah, but when I, they come out and that, say, yeah. yeah, when they come out and say they're going to though, and they don't, that's well, yeah, then it is misleading. Yeah, it bucks, is. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, they could buy, you know, some good stuff at Walmart with that. I just think Walmart would be better off if Sam Walton would have still yeah. been alive, you guys. I don't think it'd be what it is today. No. He'd be rolling over. He probably is right. rolling over this in his grave. a lot of people well, with these, the kids taking what, over and the grandkids taking over. They, they would never be. Well, one of the big things with him was uh, that everything was American made when he ran it. And he was a big stickler for American made. Oh, they, they, they threw that out the door, didn't they? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, they pushed all the American small businesses out. Yeah, there, there are no mom and pop stores, you know, around a Walmart. No, there ain't. They're just not. Not to, Walmart. Not to mention, not to mention, we're making China a superpower. Yeah, Walmart is. Walmart is. Yes. Well, not just Walmart, but yeah, they're they're a big participant in that. I don't know. I, I just think their stuff's kind of cheap. You guys, Walmart. I know it's not funny stuff. It is. Long mount, but it's uh, cheap I know shit, it's man. That. It's cheap, junk. It don't last long. Yeah, but no, we're a throwaway society does. anyway, so nobody gives a fuck. Well, no, that's what Zayas. Remember Zayas? I think yeah, I think I heard of that. Yes. Yeah, Zayas. Yeah, then, then they yeah, back in the seventies, sixties, Ames. They went to Ames. And Ames, yes, yes. I remember. That's Ames. what I'm saying. They were just garbage, basically. Uh, yeah, all but, them, 
Politics. Which is what Walmart is now, but they bought, they got other stuff besides garbage, but that's what they sell mostly is garbage. Now, right well, here. Buy, go ahead, Paul. Well, sorry. I was going to say, you can buy some decent electronics at Walmart. See, yeah. I've never went and got any at Walmart. <laughs> Now, do you guys right. have Kmart's up there where you live? We yes, oh, we yeah. do. Sears bought them out. Uh, Kmart bought Sears. Well, yeah, they're, 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 they got the mutual owner. Yeah, they yes, fall under mutual. the same umbrella. They cut them out around here. I think Sears is even gone, any guys? Um, well, Kmart's gone. Sears, I think, left too. Uh, yeah, I think Kmart. they're done. We still got Kmart's. Here, no, we got Kmart's, but they're part of Sears. Right, here's right. The, we have a, well, that's a, the part of their assets. That's all, all right. they are, is assets. Here's the greatest quote of the day. Finally, a president with balls that don't belong to his wife. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, I got a lot to say about that stuff. Michael! Week. Yeah. Michael! Oh, Donald's already previewing his next week's show. No, 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 no. Hey, you guys, I'm going to tell you, though. When I, I'll That's tell you. plugging it again. Yep. You guys, you guys, son of a bitch. You guys want to hear, you guys want to hear some really weird stuff when I was growing up. I'm talking about a poor guy. When I, a poor man being raised, raised when I was little. What happened? All right? I had a mother. She raised six kids. God bless her. She's still alive. But she had a third grade education, you guys. It's a wonder I'm even communicating with you guys. It's a wonder I'm not on here grunting, okay? But anyway. Well, I understand why they got, she got a third education. <laughs> My mother's got a sixth grade education because she came over here 12 years old, but that's how they taught them English. Well, they stuck them in the first well, grade. Well, she was born in the mountains. They, they kept moving back from Ohio back to the mountains and moving, but she went to third grade. And anyway, I was brought up, you know how our sink? She called a sink a sink. Zinc with a Z, and um, she would, you know, our, our pants, our blue jeans, she'd call them britches. I mean, it's just, a, and, and we didn't have a car when I was growing I up. I call them britches. Well, we, Dave, we was raised, uh, six kids, we never had a car, my mom never drove, so what would happen in the wintertime, the school bus would pick us up in the, in the wintertime, and where the snow would be on the driveway, we was embarrassed. So me and my little brother, we'd get out there in that driveway, and we would uh, walk and make it look like car tracks had been in our yard, because, you know, they, the kids would make fun of us, because we were poor, and they'd say, you don't have a car? So we literally had to walk footprints in our driveway just to make it look like a car had been there. I mean, being poor, you guys, it's not going <laughs> to be poor. That is a sad story. Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, it just sucks. I mean, I'm going to be and laugh this about This is supposed it, to be a comedy it. show, not a funeral, yeah. Donald. <laughs> no, it's well, <laughs> well I, I can make fun of it. I I lived it, and um, I mean, it, it's okay to be poor. I mean, I'm like like Dave. He was raised poor, but we would we'd be lucky if like Christmas comes around, all of us, all the kids would get like a a, a checkerboard to split. Now now kids nowadays they want everything. You know what I mean? But we like Dave said, he would, he'd be lucky to get a piece of fruit. You know? <laughs> oh my God! This has just become a fucking pity party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want pity. I'm just telling you guys that um, I'm not ashamed to be poor, and um, I don't think anybody else should be ashamed to be poor. No, they should. Brother, I was raised poor, and I'm still poor, and I'm happy. I got food in my belly, air in my lungs, and a roof over my head, and a job. I was, I raised, I was about. raised poor and never knew it. I was raised middle class. And I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> middle class to poor. Now that, that's a story. There. I never knew I was poor. Who the hell is breathing into their mic? Yeah, somebody needs to quit stealing my sound effects. <laughs> not me. <laughs> it's not me. This is a fucking prank phone call. Stop it. <laughs> Screw you, hippie! Screw you, hippie! <laughs> Thank you. Paul, let's hear a little bit about your childhood. Anything messed up ever happened to your childhood? <laughs> I'm um, sure there is. I, I lived a pretty normal life growing you up. You want to go into your uh, uh, car... Why does that sound like an invite to tell a dirty story? Uh, back in the 80s, I was a repossession agent. Was you really? Did you ever get beat oh. up? No, no. Never uh, never had a gun pulled on me either. But uh, we used to do a lot of fucking drugs, I'll tell you that. That's how you lived as a repo man. Fucking cigarettes, caffeine, and cocaine. Oh, And that's Lord. no fucking lie. <laughs> so would you do most of your repos at nighttime, or did you do a lot through the daytime? Well, do you know what it is? It depends on the time of the year. Because, like, in the winter, you, you want to be there around when people are heading to work because everyone starts their car and lets it run in the driveway. Oh, to that's, up. that's good thinking. Good <laughs> yeah. thinking. And you just jump in the fucking thing and split. 
I had a guy jump on the hood of the car one time. I drove him about a mile down the road. He finally got off. How many people come out running out in their underwear or their pajamas? Uh, oh, you see here. that all the time. Uh, one lady, she was a total bitch, right? We hunted her everywhere. We finally found her car at her mother's house, and her mother let us take it because it was private <laughs> property. And I opened up the fucking glove box, and a fucking dildo, and this was a good-looking woman, and this fucking nasty, filthy pair of underwear in there. Uh. It was fucking gross. <laughs> no, because she was... Because she was such a douche. When I, she came down to get a private property, I told the secretary, when she showed up, I gave her a name. I said, I want to give her her private property. <laughs> and Did instead you... of just handing the box to her, like you normally do, and they just shuffle through it, right. I made up a list, and I read the list off in the fucking lobby of the place. So she had to stand there while I'm reading it off. One vibrator... <laughs> One pair of soiled underwear. Uh, oh, yeah, I did the whole thing. Gosh. She was so embarrassed. If she could have killed me, she would have. And I don't blame her. Man, it, it would be <laughs> it'd be amazing what you'd find in some of those cars. I bet you found drugs, guns, and everything. <clears throat> got, a, got a quarter pound of grass out of one. Uh uh, yeah, one time a gun. The, as a matter of fact, remember I told you the guy that jumped on the hood of the car? Yeah. I drove it to the police station, and the sergeant on duty, um, it was his brother-in-law's car that I stole. Well, not stole, but you know what I mean, repossessed. Right. And he goes, hey, do me a favor, there's a gun under the driver's seat, can you hand it to me? I'm like, no, you can reach under the driver's seat and pull the gun out. Uh, I'm like, are you that stupid that you're going to get my fucking fingerprints on a gun? <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, what I did... Um, it was a, a, a marina, and I was after two identical um, sky blue Monte Carlos, and I got one. So I drove it across the street to a shopping center, and I was waiting for the other one to show up to go grab that one. So I flipped the seat up, and I see these porn mags. So I pick one up to look at it. It was sure fucking. Ki it was kitty porn. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah! I fucking called the cops. The cops came down. I had uh, the one I touched. I put on the roof of the car, and I said, that one's got my prints on it, and I showed them the rest. It was like 20, 30 of them in the, in the back. How many years ago was this? Uh, back in the, like, 86. See, not like right now, they would have made a big deal of that nowadays. I mean, back in them days, they really didn't make a big deal oh, of stuff. Oh, no, 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 they, they made a big did deal. They? Oh, boy, okay. did they. I mean, because that's so really big nowadays. Up, so the cops show up, and we're all standing around the Monte Carlo, right? And I... I see the other one pulling across the street, and they're like, we're going over there. I was like, do me a favor. Give me, like, ten minutes. I want to get the other car. I'll bring it across the street, and as soon as you see me pull out of the parking lot, do whatever you want. And that's what they did. I pulled out of the parking lot with the second one, and, like, eight cruises just went streaming in. And that's where I said goodbye. Oh, man, they, that guy could have had kids in there or anything. Man, you might have saved some kids, man. Uh, some guy lit my uh, the garage on fire. He hmm. threatened to do it, and he did it. Oh boy, yeah. Because you repoed his car. Yeah. Yeah, go on, he man. Did it. And the and the cops are like, you know, this this looks like it might be us. And I'm like, what do you mean? Looks like it might be us. And I know who did it. And they're like, what do you mean? I go, he threatened to do it. And they're like, can you get us on his name? And I was like, yeah. So I got it in the file back at the office. Because I wrote in there that he threatened to burn down the garage. Hmm. I think that guy could be listening right now, Paul. He could be Good. listening to you. <laughs> Paul, so screw you. I repoed your car. Yeah, it was, it wasn't you don't right. get internet radio yeah. in prison. He didn't, bur he didn't burn my garage down. I don't give a shit. So did he Did he go to jail, I guess, right? I have no idea, but they, they took the file and said, we'll take care of it from here. Oh, okay. I, ne I never heard another word about it. Oh, I, I was going to tell you guys something, too, um, when I was telling you this. Not to be sad, this ain't no sad stuff, but when I was a kid, I watched a lot of westerns. And I watched this John Wayne movie or something where they were branding cattle. You know how they'd heat that, that yeah, branding right. iron up? So um, I don't know why, but I went in the kitchen, and we had a gas stove there, and I took a fork. And I heated that, sucking, that, that fork up until it turned red, you guys. It was glowing. 
And I don't know I why I went, up, going. I went to my little brother. I stuck him and um, he went running screaming to my mom and she beat the crap out of me and I said mom and he was doing it to these cows from TV and they were I, I, I branded him and he still got those scars on and he still talks about it today you so, guys so your parents didn't let you watch the fucking uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think after that your parents didn't let you watch the fucking coyote in the road runner anymore well, I wouldn't allow, I, I wouldn't allow the brand any more of my brothers and sisters, I'll tell you that. Um, she kept me away from branding people. And, um, see, I thought he was going to say he was going to brand himself. I'm like, I can see where this is going. And then you, just, you mentioned your little brother. I was like, oops, a little turn I didn't see. Well, he, he was the first one I seen. I don't know. I was just going to brand twist. somebody. I was going to brand somebody, period. Um, kids emulate what they see on TV, so I thought I'd brand somebody. Why didn't you um, brand your Yourself. I didn't yeah. think about it. I knew it would hurt. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. well, well, at least you seen that. Like, yeah, it's thing. hot. It's hot. I'm branding somebody. Come I'm here, telling little brother. you, buddy. I used to get whippings for doing everything. I, I'd go to when I got to become a teenager. I'd go to these guys' house and we'd be drinking and stuff. My mom would come in there, you guys, and twenty of my friends would be in there. We'd listen to Ozzy Osbourne, you know, uh, drinking oh, beer. Glass Sabbath. Yeah, or, yeah, all that stuff. And um, I was 13, 14 years old. She would literally grab my ear and twist it and cuss my friends out and, and drag me out of their house. And there I'm cussing, thinking, hey, Mom, you know, and she's embarrassing the crap out of me. But I'll tell you, every one of those guys are dead today that I was running around with back in those days, man. Um, man, I had a mom. She'd come. She would come. You know, she would come after me when I was out doing stuff. And uh, she said, those kids will end up no good one day. And, and sure enough, she's right, you guys. I mean, um, your parents... My mother and father, have... when I get arrested, is saying, what the hell are you doing hanging around with the kids? They're nothing but a bad influence. And then after about the third arrest, she goes to my friends. What the hell are you hanging around with Jimmy? He's nothing but a bad influence. So you became the bad influence. <laughs> you became yeah, the yeah, bad I influence. Did. Oh gosh! I, now, what about you, Paul? Was you was you a bad kid when you was little? Paul's just he getting made... back now. He's got to put his headphones on so, and reload my bear. So, what kind of kid was you, uh, Dave, as a teenager? And Jimmy, I'll ask both of you. Jeremy, I, I, I was a horrible huh? kid. What? Oh, I was bad. I was violent. I, I was, was an angel. He was an angel, and Dave. I was a black was? sheep. Black sheep. Now, I was I was I was a horrible kid. My biggest. My biggest thing was I had a kid at, at 16, so I, 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 was I got you beat, brother. I got you beat. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a grandfather now. <laughs> I got you beat, Dave. Well, yeah, you screwed a teacher at 13. Yeah, I know, yeah. exactly. I I do. I, I have a gay son. I told you guys. Wish about I had that, that opportunity because there was one I wanted to fuck. He didn't tell you it was a shop teacher. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Mr. Willis. No. Hit the button. What? Private the, wrong hole. At it again. He was a blonde-headed math teacher in, in her mid thirties. I mean, uh, she was a good-looking woman, and I, my wife knows all about it. You guys, I told her. But she pursued this lady. She <laughs> called her. She read her. She what? read her a note. And yeah, my wife. Uh, she contacted this. this teacher. Yes, and the teacher wrote a note back to my wife and said, "Please don't pursue this, or I'll, I'll kill myself." Oh so, uh, shit! I would have pursued that. I'd have been like, "Here's the rope, bitch. Here's the rope." And uh, she, she just. <laughs> I want it on video. <laughs> Then my wife said, I want to see some pictures of him. So she brought pictures to my wife to where my wife used to work and dropped them off of this boy. And um, I've kept track of him on Facebook, you guys, and he'll dildos in his hands and everything. It's, um, I, I don't so really you're want saying to... he's a Peter Puffer? Yes. Uh, I don't... Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Did, did your wife send any pictures of you to that teacher, how you look now? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I, I went to visit her once uh, back when I was in my early 20s, and I already went bald by then, and she didn't even have no part of me by then. You know, I I, I, uh, I lost, yeah, I lost she likes my the look. 15 year old. But, uh, yeah, but Donald, she, at that, by then, she was 60 years old. Uh, yeah. well, she was going to, yeah. She by the time you graduated high school. Oh, God, I'd hate to see her now. I'd hate to see well, her now. How old right was now. she when you were 15? I was 13. And she was how like old 13. was she? She was 34. Wow. Uh, but she was, she 20 was. 20 uh, years. That, that ain't nothing. Like I said, I did the she's same thing. She's in her thing. 60s, Jim. I was, 
Yeah, now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But I was well, hiking when I was the body of something. She, oh. she never gave me a true age. I never saw a license. She didn't but, have one. Well, when this teacher went undercover after all this happened, I mean, she stayed low key, no Facebook, <laughs> account, no nothing, think? nothing. You guys, and uh, her husband, she, he worked at the uh, steel mill in Middletown. He made big money. I think, I think I was set up because I think he he was sterile. And I think I was used just for them to have a baby. Ah, that's a possibility. But then, but then they, had, they had a gay son, though. Didn't you say he plays with dildos and stuff? <laughs> yes, he is gay. His name's Jared. His um, name's Don Jr.? So, no, no, so no, no. Donald, Donald, does the apple fall very far from the tree? No. That apple, <laughs> fell, that apple <laughs> fell way far from the tree. Because I think if he would have been raised under my rule, I don't think he'd have been like that. <laughs> no, he would have been a fucking serial murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know, he he would have hit the wrong hole. Wait, <laughs> my cousin and I touched wieners. Well, I you know it's just it's a it's it's not a bad. So I I told my wife. Well, I didn't. One of my buddies did. <laughs> you uh, it out. It's even worse. <laughs> yeah. And you still call him your buddy? Well, they I I don't see him anymore. But he came to my house a long time ago. Back you know right after me and my wife got married. It's the first thing out of his mouth. Hey, I I remember you having that kid by that teacher. My wife was like, what? I, you know, I mean, you guys, it's um, it, it was it's bad. I mean, you're talking about open mouth and certain foot. Oh, I wish I was there just to see the look on that woman's face. What? What's well, a wonder she didn't beat you, beat you to death? Who's the woman or Linda? He was a child. Linda. Yeah, no, no, Linda, his 13. wife. Thirteen. Didn't you say you were thirteen? She took I'll... advantage of a thirteen and just young on the boy. Couch. Oh, yeah, that's but horrible. I'm not trying to be nasty, but when I was 13, you guys, I mean, I was hung like a mule, but, um... <laughs> uh, oh, so uh, you're not anymore? Yeah. Well, I... Yeah, well, my it belly hit porch to the floor. <laughs> my <laughs> belly a mule six inches? I, I got a belly. I don't even know how long it is. I don't think it was physically possible, but this both sucks and blows. I for a while, either. I ain't, I ain't seen it yet, I've been starving lately, so I'm seeing the tip. <laughs> Jimmy, do you ever have to pull your belly back to see down there? You're like, whoa. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just to, just to make sure it's still there every now and then. Well, you know, it's pissing me off because I piss like six or seven times a day now. I go down there, and half the time I think I got my dick out aimed the right way. Next thing you know, it's either going left, right, or fucking straight into the toilet seat. <laughs> well, see, you don't have a woman living with you. See right here? No, right I there? don't. If I'm I hoping miss, that will help. If I don't raise that lid and I piss on the toilet seat, man, oh, I get cussed out. I, oh, no, I don't piss with the toilet seat down, no. No, Jimmy, no, hey. Jimmy makes a point of telling people when they keep put the it toilet up. seat down, put it back up. Let, hey, let's hear, let's hear, Linda has a saying on the back of the toilet lid for Donald. Donald, What's what that? does it say? I can't remember. Do you remember what it says? It's something about if you have to piddle or something. Uh, if you sprinkle when you tinkle, be a sweetie and wipe the CD. Yes. <laughs> something like that. Yes, something like that. And uh, no, 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 it's yellow. Let it mellow. If it's brown. Piddle, flush it down. Be a sweetie and wipe the CD. Yes, but Jimmy, when you get up late at night and you're having sleep, I don't think about raising the lid up. I mean, I'm. Oh, uh, I do. I'm running I don't get up in the middle of the night. I roll over. Well, I wait to the last minute, Jimmy, because I hate getting up in the middle of the night like that. Me I too. wait to the last minute until I can't take it anymore. Then I, then I run to the bathroom. Last and, thing I do at night is take a piss so I don't have to get up. Well, that don't work, though, for me. I always I drink a lot yeah, of Yeah, I know. It only works at like 6, 7 in the morning. A lot of green Kool-Aid will do that to you. Yes, green Kool-Aid will make you uh, urinate uh, a lot. Yes, it will. Now, if you drink a shitload of it, does your, uh, your, your fucking piss come out green? You know, no, it doesn't. But um, I was taking a medication once, and my, my pee turned a different color, and it scared me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet mine come out red. That's called the chlamydia, shit out of Donald. Me. That's called <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was, but um, I actually I had a big blood boil up there um, above my hairline. <laughs> and wow. I, and I, and I went to the piss one day, and um, I looked down. I didn't know this thing had busted, and it, there was blood in the toilet. And so I went to Linda. I said, "Linda, I'm pissing blood." You know, I thought I, I thought something was wrong, and I got to looking, and that big blood boy had busted, and it, that sucker squirted in the toilet, and I thought I was dead, man. I thought, "Oh shit, I'm pissing blood," <laughs> but it was a boil, man. How do you get a boil on your fucking uh, down there? 
I, I wasn't like on like, your balls. Okay, I want no. It's it's above the hairline. The humping what, goat. No. Um, well, <laughs> is it inside the penis? No, no. It's, it's, <laughs> you know where your hairline's at, right? Above your hairline, where you wear your belt. I wear my belt right above. Oh, okay. I got a, it's his pubic yeah. line. Yeah, pubic line. Yeah, yeah. above your, right above your pubic line. And I used to drive a, a pickup truck every day, and I'd drive for hundreds of miles a day, and my my pants would rub it, and it would cause a right. boil. Ah. Yeah. So that sucker busted, and I mean, it filled that toilet with blood. I didn't know that it busted, and it scared me to death, man. Oh, you mean it dribbled right down oh, your dick between crazy. your balls and dripped? No, Honey, take a look at this. I wasn't watching me. I wasn't watching myself piss, but the the boil busted, and it squirted <laughs> in the toilet. So I looked down after I got done to flush, and there was a toilet full of blood. And, uh, and this show it, just took a turn for the worse. It scared me. Uh, I'm surprised it took this long. Yeah, I know. We're supposed to get better, Donald. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm just telling you what happened. I mean, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm an honest person, but um, uh, I didn't mean to talk about blood boils. But yeah, that's uh, right. No, that's pretty much the quality of the show. No, I, I got one <laughs> story over here. Paul wanted to talk about redheads with um. Oh, black, yeah. black and blue vaginas. Yes, yes. Whoa, whoa! I heard this. Tell us about it. No, but have, have you ever have you ever fucked a redhead? I can't like feel that. Right. See, my yes. wife's probably listening right now, so I, I don't. So I'm talking that. about in your past. I'm not talking about two weeks ago. Before oh, I met my wife, yes, but it it felt like cotton. It was like cotton. Yeah. You ever notice that the a redhead's cunt always looks like it's just been beat up? They, they they got the fucking ugliest cunts on the fucking planet. <laughs> I'm Black sorry. and blue. They, yeah, they look like they were just in a rock fight. I, I, I never need them. I've never seen one in person in the light though. It's always been dark when I was younger. But um, no, I haven't seen one. Uh, I've banged a few redheads. And what they about all you? Look the same. Hey, <laughs> that's true, Donald. Uh, a lot of people used to fuck in the dark, and then. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, you don't. I think see. it was the fifties or sixties. They started putting the light on. Yeah, well, you want to see what you're doing. Well, well, that's when they first realized there's a clitoris. Oh my God, what is this thing? <laughs> well, because guys didn't care as long as they got off. Yeah. Give well, the fuck. It don't take a guy near as long as a woman, though. You guys, for some reason, I don't know. No, no it don't. It yes, takes yes. a lot to build a woman up, and just talking into her ear is part of it. Dude, I knew a guy who was so just horny. Just gets him off. I knew a guy just, that was so horny. If a woman. If a woman come up to shake his hand, he would start humping. I mean, that guy was so horny, dude, he was like a dog. I mean, just starts dry humping anything that moves. Yeah, well, he was humping the air. I mean, only <laughs> you can come up with that. I will tell you guys, this guy, his name was Silas, okay? We called him Paul Silas. <laughs> Silas, all right? He worked with us on a crew, all right? And uh, he had this big Mountain Dew bottle there, one of them big golfs. And one of our other friends, Silas was out doing something in the porta potty, and one of our friends took his penis and put in Silas's bottle and filled it the rest of the way up with this. Okay? No! Now, no. Hang on. I, didn't, I wanted to tell Silas, but before I could, Silas comes in, opens up the Mountain Dew bottle, and starts guzzling. Okay? Oh. No, listen, hold on. He starts going. <laughs> And I'm like, what the oh hell's wrong with you, Silas? He said, I, I think it was that Chinese, that was that Chinese food we just got done eating. And then we're all, we all, we all watched uh, the boy pissing his pop, you guys. I mean, uh, it, it was dirt, it was awful to let him drink it, but it was funny, man. I couldn't say nothing, you know. I didn't want to piss either one of them off. I know they'd start fighting. But just he's start, yeah, play dumb. On that one, play dumb. And he was going... <laughs> And I'm thinking, oh my, he, he just drank a bottle of this, man. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, seems to be a little wang in this. Well, you we know, you know what would have really been funny if, he, if it, when he pulled it down, if there had been a, a, cu a pube hair stuck in his tooth. <laughs> oh, that would have been You guys. I'm serious. This boy stuck his whole thing in his. You know them big golf bottles so he used to buy? I was going to say, I hope it's not the regular neck bottles. Or no, oh, no. Uh, it was a Mountain Dew, and it had those big old uh, uh, bottle caps on it. Big old cap. Big big, big golf, you know. Yeah, so you could just pour it down your throat. Yes. 
and he stuck his whole thing in there. I turned my head. I said, "Why are you doing that? Don't do that." Don, you know you look, Donald. You look, didn't no. you? <laughs> but, uh, it's a wonder it's he okay didn't. It's okay to tell us. You look. No, I, I, well, I seen him. I seen him <laughs> yeah, unscrewing the bottle. Look, see? No, I seen him unscrewing the bottle, then unzipping his pants. I said, "Don't do that. I know what you're gonna do." And I tell you, that dude. I know he stuck his whole thing down that bottle. And just my friend, my other friend, had to come in just to imagine. Jeez. I mean, I watched him drink this mess, you guys. Oh. Man, it was horrible. Do you, do you know what would have been great if he had got a hat on while he was doing it and got stuck in the bottle? Oh. Just fucking run around. Get this thing off me. Oh. Oh, calm down. Think, think sports. Think sports. But, no, I would have just went over there and smashed it. It was in glass, I hope. Yeah, but we, uh, even then. <laughs> we just got back from eating at a Chinese restaurant, and uh, Silas said, is that Chinese food? And I said, no, it's not that Chinese food. We all knew he drank piss, and I've never drank piss, so... Did you I ever tell him? Uh, yes, he found out, and he's going to kill that guy, but he ended up quitting, and... Um, and I killed him later. <laughs> uh, I know my second wife I peed on. She liked it. Ugh. Ugh. I was standing up in the tub and I pissed well, all over. At least you had the common decency to do it in the tub. Well, so you gave her a golden shower. I'm not that dirty, that, I guess. A but Greek then shower. Again, a golden Greek shower. Ain't that what that's what it's golden called? Shower. Golden, golden shower. Golden shower. Golden shower. Yeah, she loved it. She kept her uh, giggling. Ugh. Me on. Just you hit on the face with it. Yeah, up and down the bar. <laughs> not not face. in the face? No, in the face. Oh, nice, yeah. oh, yeah, that's, almost as bad, that's almost as bad as Donald shooting a load in the back of his buddy's head. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I told my wife about that with you guys. I told her about that. Oh, I'm, that's fucking great. I'm honest with my wife. I mean, I told her old stories, things that happened before. I I'm met honest her, with my life. Everybody knows what yeah, I Yeah, my life's pretty much an open book. It's whenever I think of it, I talk about it. Well, when I when I first got together with my wife, she had three adults, you know, children, my right. stepchildren. I they they wanted answers. I gave them answers. They were like, "Wow, boy, you're brutally honest." <laughs> it's like well, you asked. You are honest. You and Jimmy both are. I mean, you guys are an open book. And I I, say, I got none, my family hates me because I tell everything. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to tell people that. I, I don't know. What's the, what's the secret? You can't do this on the radio, right? If you're going to be a, not, if you're not going to be an open book, why? Well, you're, you're not going to have anything guys, to talk about. I appreciate right, if you guys I cover up this. everything. That you might as well be taking a bus ride. You know yeah. what I mean? You say nothing to nobody. Well, see that. Well, that's normally what I do when I'm on a bus. Or any public exactly. transportation. I don't talk to fucking nobody. Well, that makes me be able to trust you guys because I, I'm telling you, you guys are out in the open and you guys are straight up guys. So therefore, I know I I I I, I can sit there and say you guys my lie about been it. an open book all my life. I, I'll tell you how honest I am. This is how honest I am. If I need to lie to serve my purposes, I will do it. That's oh, yeah. how honest I am. I'll say the fact that if it's if if it serves my purpose, I will lie. Hey, you're being honest about it. At least see what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Want to see somebody's feelings too, or I'll is it lying? See somebody's down, feeling. Well, that's the, that's the thing. That's the thing. Am I or aren't I right now? That, that is a, that is a, that is kind of. Yeah, you know, you now, now, that. now we're getting this. <laughs> now we're getting this into some deep. Psych you know, yeah, I know, we're getting too deep. Deep, we know, yeah, 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 we all have some psychological issues. We need to get Val in here on this Oh, one. no, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> I think we, got we 20 do. minutes. I could call him. Val, the phone call. line's open. He's on hey, phone list. Jeremy wants to talk to her. <laughs> oh, <my> God, <laughs> really? Well, Jeremy's got to go. Jeremy, See you later. questions? No. She's a lot, she, she can tell you things. We could give them a show together. We Jeremy and Val. Oh, it's only 841. <laughs> She's home. It's <laughs> not Get her in here. Get her in here for the fun of it, Jimmy. Uh, How many assholes have we got on this ship, anyhow? I know. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Hey, I'll let him call. Donald, Donald, Donald. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, it's Friday night. You're not going to get a hold of her on Friday night. Probably not. Be working. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. Thanks, Thanks Jimmy. Jimmy. Tomorrow night. She well, probably thinks I'm trying to check in. This oh, is cool. Going I'm going to pretend. I'm going to use that as a cover. Okay. Hi, you've reached 314. Ah! 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 I knew she wasn't going to answer. 
I don't blame her. She's probably out doing something fun. Tomorrow night, like as us. a matter of fact, that um, I'm supposed to be doing something from 8 to 1 in the morning. From 8 to 1 in the morning? Yeah. What do you got to do? What, she go on location? Yeah. Oh. Live. Do you want to plug it? Can't be okay. I don't know it. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd love to plug it. It's going to be in Missouri. Anybody in the area? Uh, no, I'm in Ohio. Oh, not yeah, me. Right. You want to go? Hey, they're closer than we are. <laughs> exactly. How would you guys like me to call like a Domino's Pizza or something and, and get in the conversation while we're talking on air here? Oh, speaking of that, do you remember when fucking Chris um, Steve Wright calls? He was calling on the page list. He yeah, was, he was calling hookers, right? Yeah. Uh, just no, on on air. Page, you know how I found my uh, baby's mama on uh, uh, Craigslist? Craig, yeah. Well, he would find hookers on um, uh, back page. Uh oh, no way. Yeah, no, call him back. Hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Jeremy Gibbs. Nice. Val, what's up? Hey, you just called me? Yeah, I did. You're on air. What? You're on the air, Val. You're on the air. <laughs> if you don't want to be, I you don't have to be. Care. Okay. I was just serving dinner. What's up? No, oh, hi, everybody. No. If you're going to serve dinner, go back to serving dinner. Uh, no, we just wanted you to plug out. You were going to be doing something tomorrow night with Jimmy. Yes. Oh, tomorrow night, yes. We're going to be at Chio's Wings. Uh, um, it's in Belleville, Illinois, and we're going to be doing a live show, karaoke show, from 7 p.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, Central Time Time. Okay. Can you tell us that hi, Jimmy? No. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and um, Jimmy, if you can do a sock for me, you know where the flyer is. Can you grab it? The flyers? The flyer, yes. The flyer, it's, I tagged you in it so that you can see it. And that way you can show it to your page wall if anybody's interested. The more the merrier, everybody's welcome. And um, Zoomer, it's a live show, so if you have talent, they can come down to Geo's and maybe we can find some new talent. Air them on the radio. Excellent, Val. Excellent. Tell us that hi, Jimmy. Okay. Yep. Um, Jimmy, you'll give them the phone number no, of the no, place no, no, as well as the street address. Where's your phone? When you look it up, right? <laughs> She's going to serve dinner, Jimmy. Let her go uh, serve yeah, dinner. We, we I got to let her go, Don. All right, all right. All right, Val. Val, I'll, good to talk to you, hon. I'll talk to you tomorrow night. Okay, thank you. You take I care. <clears throat> no, because once she said she was going to serve dinner and stuff, you, you were like, oh, go, just go. Yeah, And then okay. I wanted her to plug her thing, you know what I mean? Because we do tease her and stuff. So I, I want to let her plug her, you know, her thing. Hey, um, how would you guys like me to call Domino's and ask them about um, our president or something? I don't know. Oh. oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I wanted to get back to that right before Val called. The guy, Sammy, that he's going to be coming on with us once in a while. He was calling the back page for hookers, right? And he's setting up the deal. We're doing it live on the air. This is the real thing. And then he st once he's setting up the deal, right, then he starts trying to talk her down. And he, he makes what, like, five Down on the call. price. Yeah, talks are down on the price. You want to talk about fucking hysterical. <laughs> These women are losing their shit. Literally losing their shit on the air because he's asking all these outrageous things. Ah, oh, it's fucking great. We got we, we to gotta play that sometime. What, do you guys want me to call Domino's right now and see if I can't get a pizza for cheaper or something? <laughs> you want to, yeah, ask him, can I get it for a discount? Yeah, I'll make up something. You guys just listen. Do you, want, I'll... Do you, do you want to tell me you have a coupon, but it's on You're a day. veteran. You deserve more. Well, let me, let me, uh, let me see what I'm going to drink. I'm going to dial it right now. Um, this is in another town, in Middletown, so um, I got it on speaker. Well, here it goes. Here it goes, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for choosing Domino's. Hang on. Give your meal oh, a perfect twist to a Domino's yeah, I gotta, twist. Handmade from fresh I gotta wait till this is over and I'll do somebody to call. Available in three varieties. Okay. Parmesan. I want to do this good. Now we're advertising Domino's on the air. He's really going to order a pizza. <laughs> no, I'm not. Now I gotta want some fucking pizza. I'm going to tell him I want something weird on this pizza. Hang on a minute. Like, uh... Hang on, just watch. Tell me what man juice with. on it. I want um, <laughs> <laughs> seaweed. Here it goes. Wedding ball. Oh, oh shit, this ball's going to be monitored. We'll be on the line. Shut our mic off. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting on I'm waiting on operator, guys. Shut up.
Like what? Favorite pizza. Oh, come it's on. Free pizza. <laughs> Sign up for our piece of the pie. Well, they didn't give me an option. Does it I take think, this long? I think, I think this is a crime. Domino's does the same with this pizza carry-out delivery. I think they're waiting. Here, here we go. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, thanks for choosing Domino's. This is Sam with this pizza carry-out delivery. Uh, well, I got to ask about a pizza. What did you say your name was again? Sam? Or Sam. Sam. Sam, um... My name is uh, Don, and um, I was just wondering if you guys uh, uh, make pizzas and have, you got seaweed to put on them, because um, somebody was telling me you guys were putting seaweed on some pizzas now. No. Um, so that's a lie? Yes. Well, what all toppings, I mean, like weird toppings do you guys have? I mean, do you guys like have, uh, I know you got anchovies. Do you, you carry Wait, anchovies well there? No, we do not. Okay, um, uh, I'm just trying to think of something different. Um, what about, like, pizzas? Can you make a peach pizza from Domino's? No, we do not. All right, um, one more question. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just looking for something different, Sam. Um, what about grits? Um, do you guys make, like, grits, like, breakfast grits or eggs you can put on a pizza? No. You do? No. Oh, shoot. Um, so what's the most weirdest pizza you guys sell there? I mean, I'm just looking for something different, Sam. I mean, I'm not uh, crazy or not. I'm just looking for something different. I'm tired of pepperoni and sausage. <laughs> We've got roasted red peppers. we got fresh spinach. we got salami. Spinach. Spinach sounds pretty good. Um, now, do you got, like, color greens and dandelions with that or um, just spinach? No. Well, we uh, we have a specialty that is um, spinach and feta pizza. Well, what about green it Kool-Aid? Um, um, do you guys sell green Kool-Aid there if I order a pizza? No. Do, or do you, you don't sell green Kool-Aid or any color kind of Kool-Aid? <sighs> Sam? Sam? She hung up on you. She hung up on me, guys. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> uh -uh, Jerry, come on. Come on, man. That was oh, funny. Micah. Come on, guys. <laughs> Seriously. I think, I, think, I think that was a crime. <laughs> Is that a that crime? She, she hung on there for a while, though. I got to give her credit. Yeah, you did. She gave see, it the old college try. You see what I'm saying, though? You can't find green Kool-Aid anywhere. I proved it. <laughs> <right there. laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, it's green Kool-Aid that broke right. the camel's back. And I'm telling you, everybody thinks of green Kool-Aid. Say, what the fuck flavor is he talking about? <laughs> Slim and lime. It's lemon. Slim and lime flavor is green Kool-Aid. No, it's lime and lemon. No, but if you eat a green lollipop, it's not lemon. Uh, lime, yeah, rather. It it's it's lime. not lime. My wife said it's lemon lime. It? Lemon no, lime. Something else. Oh man, I wish. Um, see, now, she probably thought I was some kind of wacko or psycho or something. Well, yeah, well, she you, did. You, but you were good at it. You you sounded serious. You know what I mean? I couldn't do that. I just <laughs> yeah, I know. I stopped laughing. You sounded sincere, like yeah, you, really you definitely wanted, did. Uh, like you, you can really do this. Your heart wanted a different she, kind of pizza. She was you cool with the seaweed. She was cool with the seaweed. I'm gonna get on pe uh, back page. I'm gonna give you the number to call. <laughs> oh shit! We could have we could have Don. Uh, he'd be part. No, hey, let me call better. somebody. I'll call somebody. Less. Give me a number. Less calling the back page, trying to get a prostitute. <laughs> what is the back page? What is it? It's where you oh, take it's, a book. It's like the uh, same thing as Craigslist, but it's... Uh, uh, Give me the number. I'll call. So they... they well, uh, the, what, what, what do Give you charge number. for a half and half or a round? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's much? not so much as the number. You can find it on your computer. <laughs> so Search half and half back or around the world. I mean, I is want it a back, job with the happy back page? Ending. What am I trying to say? Back page. Back page. All right, I'm going to so Google back, back page. page. I'm going to Google the yeah, number. Yeah, we only got 10 minutes. Page. All right. Give me the number for back page. No, we got an hour and 10 minutes. No, we don't. I'm not going another hour. Do you want to go another hour? It depends on how these phone calls are. Okay. Uh, back page. All right, then. Do you want, let's give it a well, show. When let's they're see done the with the phone calls, we're done with the show. No, 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 no. That's fine. No, 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 no. All right, that's back fine. Backpage.com phone number. Is that what, was that it? I would assume. All right, let me see if it's got a phone number, you guys, because um, I would really like to talk to these people. And Okay, uh, now it says no phone number, Jimmy. Um, man, you ain't got a number? Uh, do you know who could get it for us? It's Sammy B. 
Ah, uh, shoot, no, I need a number. It'd be Backpage.com. He, yeah, but he said it. He went to it and it said no phone number. Wait a minute, let me go to Backpage.com and see if they got a number. Yeah, we'll order right off Take the, me the to Backpage.com. Now, if they do, I'll, I'll, I'll go along with them. Um, I'll, I'll, I'd like to call a pizza place or some other place and ask them about politics and see if I can... No! Uh, That's fine, no, no, too. No, no, no. no. I want to I wanna hear you try to order a hooker. All right, but <laughs> that's not, what I want to hear. It's not giving me a phone number, though, ah, guys. Fuck. All right, What's so, it saying? It's a, usually it's a girl, though. you got to go to a certain uh, site. Anyone uh-huh. that you think is interesting. Yeah. We're playing up. high school kids. Um, Jeremy, find me a number. Yeah, Jeremy's the fucking whiz kid. Yeah, come on, yeah. Jeremy. Hurry up give me a number. And tell me you haven't done this before. Uh, let's make up some uh, airspace. Um, yeah, I'll do this, you guys. I don't mind. I like. No, we can arrange this. Phone. We can set this up, uh, even if we don't do it tonight. I don't. We got eight minutes. All what right. We, see, we ain't gonna get a number. Give me the number to Casano's in Middletown. <laughs> Casano's. That sounds like fucking. All right, I'm gonna. Call. He is a fucking child, isn't he? The city where they just had the uh, French guy kill two people. That's why I live in Middletown. Well, we I used to live in Middletown, Ohio. Casano. I'm going to call Casano's, and I'm going to get political. Casano's. <laughs> Casano's. Close enough. Whatever. All right. We'll, we'll see what happens anyway. Thank you for calling Casano's call center. Uh-huh. Our next available customer service representative will be moving right. momentarily. Yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> they will I'm answer your call. I need to have a minute. Proof is in the taste. I'm going to ask him what he thinks about our president and see if he answers me. All right. Now, how long did, how long did he say? I don't know. Did he just said next available representative? Yes, thank you. Can I have your phone number, Eric? Wait a minute. Did you say your name was Amber? Yes, it is. Hey, Amber. I'm I'm just calling. I want to ask this question. Um, Do you support Donald Trump, the president of the United States of America? I'm being serious. I. What's that? Well, I'm being serious. I do not get. I don't get involved in it. I care less either way. I don't like him as a person, but I mean, I really don't. Well, I appreciate your answer. I mean, at least you're honest. I mean, um, how old are you? I'm not trying to pick you up or nothing. I'm not a weirdo. I'm just trying to ask some people some questions. Thirty-eight. And so you just don't care about Donald Trump now. Would you would have preferred Hillary Clinton be the president over Donald Trump? Oh hell no. I didn't want either one of them. So who would you like? I mean, if you had a choice, who would you like? In this last question, who would you like to be the president if you had a choice? I would have chosen for Obama again. You would have voted for Obama? Okay, well, thank you. Um, thanks for answering my questions. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. All right, bye-bye. Hey. You guys, she was um, she was willing to answer questions, but um, I didn't like her answer. <laughs> yeah, she's like Obama. Obama again. I love that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm getting a text, you guys, from Henry. He says, "Do another hour, please." <laughs> All, All right. right, we can do it. I guess we can. I Since mean, the fans want it. Exactly. Well, we got one fan asking. We got one fan. fan. Since the fan <laughs> wants it. Yeah, skip. Drop the ass. All right, since our fan wants another hour, um, what can we do now? Um, do you want me to make more phone calls? Um, I would like to call the hooker. <coughs> I want to call yes. the hooker. Yes, back page. Yeah, well, me, you, know you guys keep talking, right? Now, you search it on the... Uh, let me see if I can find uh, it. On, uh, like you would be searching for anything else. Uh, I'm going to let Google. Paul look for it. You know what I'm saying? And then do Jeremy back Jeremy can't look for it. His old lady will beat his ass if, he, if she cares. Oh, all right. I, I should be looking for this then. Yeah, find it, Jimmy or Paul. Um, but I'll tell you guys a story while you're looking. Um, page. They said women in Brazil are importing the sperm of American men at unprecedented rates with a preference for sperm from blue-eyed, blonde, white males. Nice. Um, they're, they're trying to get sperm from America. I'm doing women for are. nothing. Nothing. For nothing. Hey, wait a minute. We can make some money here. But um, I'm not Exactly. Blind. I don't I'm have blue me. eyes, though. I do. Um, you got blue eyes? Yes, I do. Well, I'm oh, shit. You. And they can take my DNA. I'll split it up 7,100 times. I swear to God, this is on my DML app. I'm not lying to you. Oh, no, um, it is. I've seen it earlier. I'm going to send it to Paul right now. I'm going to send it to Paul. But this, uh, what city are you closest to? 
Um, it don't matter. Uh, Dayton, Cincinnati. Um, Dayton. Right. We'll do Dayton. Yeah, do Dayton. Oh, you're going to find some real winners in Dayton. Uh, Dayton. No, do you want women to men? <laughs> men to women. Dude, men I don't care what it is. I don't care if we have to call hey, another guy. We, we don't, we don't, call, don't care. We call him wrong hole for nothing. Get a guy. Hey, let's get a guy. <laughs> hey, get a guy. Let's go men to men. Let's go men to men. Go men to men. Let's see what I can do here, guys. I don't, don't forget. <laughs> no, you got to get the right disclaimer here. No, I got to. All right, I'm over 18. Um, I'm not a resident of the state, but I don't care. I'm just giving you the uh, number. number. Now, you guys don't hey, give me laughing. You're not giving out Donald's number, right? Don't get me laughing, though, you guys, or I'll mess oh, it up. Shit, I don't see a fucking phone number. No, I'm not going any further. I'm not agreeing to this. What is it? It, it asks me, it, it's a disclaimer asking me if I agree. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> if there was a phone number, I'd be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> ah crap! What are you agreeing to? Uh, that it's now allowed to be in my phone. Not letting that to, allowed to be in my phone, no. especially when it says "men to men." <laughs> <laughs> could you see Paul? My Paul? wife could handle a lot of things. <laughs> that wouldn't be one of them. <laughs> no, you see Paul's no, no. Wife? Paul's like, do you what do you think me and Jimmy do over oh. there all day? <laughs> if I if I knew how to look at my wife, I, I don't care you. what's on my phone. So um, I could get you into Lost and Found. What's that? What is that now? Uh, <laughs> Just say you lost something. All right. What's the number? <laughs> Let's see. I'll make up something good. Back page personals. You got a number? Nope. No number pops. You got to Google it, Donald. I'm letting them find me a number because I can't find nothing. And if you guys find me a number, I'll talk to anybody you guys can get me on the phone with. I'll call the White House if you want me to. I was looking under rentals, Chip Figure, and there might be something under there interesting. You guys hey, hear the, hey, dating for big people, meet plus size singles, dearie. <laughs> hey, um, I just gotta... Farm, do you know what we should do? Farmersonly.com. Hey, let's we'll do fucking... it. Um, but let's... Uh, Hey, I got another message from Henry. He said there's about 50 to 100 people where he's working listening to our show right now over the PA system. Oh, uh, we're sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. So we're, we're I'm sure that's gonna... breaking a couple sexual harassment laws. Listen, you guys, everybody who's working with Henry, Henry's a good guy. Um, this show, we usually are very political, but we're on here tonight. We're just having fun. That's what life's about. And um, Henry, if any of the guys here got anybody they want me to call... Send me a number and I'll call them. Uh, but if I have to, I'll get on here and act gay. I don't care what I have to do. Let's have some fun. What do you mean act? Uh, yeah, we don't call gay. him. We don't call him private wrong hole for nothing. All right, exactly. It's not an act. It's Sounds a, like Sammy yeah, B. Yeah. Hey, hey Don, Donald's knees didn't get flat from praying, and his mouth didn't get round from sucking on no banana. Now, see, I was, Donald. Donald just wants to get back to his roots, or should I say, root? <laughs> I should call Africa and find me a big woman, a big African woman. That's what I should do. Oh, but, oh, try to buy a kid. Was there a number where I can buy a kid? I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, not getting any pictures on the back page. I'm just getting phone numbers. Just, give him, give him a phone number. Just give me a phone number. Yeah, I'll say. I'll ask him what it's about. Let's see how this goes. Well, I back. I back away right, from go, it. Go forward again. Give me an area. Oh, no, I'm trying to find you a, trans, a trans There we go. Up. All right. Well, I think Jimmy just may have. Here, are yeah, you ready? This, this is Cleveland back page. Are Give me ready? a number. Yes. Is this Friday? Oh, this one's got pictures. That's Friday. 323. Yeah, it oh, is. Yeah, Donald, I, I, Donald, I, I, this is the transvestite. Are you wait, ready? Are they gonna <laughs> it, it doesn't even say what it no, is. Dave's got, phone Dave's, number. Dave's got the fucking transvestites. Are they, they going to charge oh, me for God. the call? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not going to get this guy's phone number out on the air. But what, I'm going to text it to you, Donald. All right, text it to you. <laughs> Dude, this is one ugly fucking number. transvestite. All right, I'll give this one out if anybody... No, 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 no. Dave's already got one for him. But listen, am I trying Am I going to get charged on my phone for calling this number? No, I'm, I'm sending it to you now. No, no right. nothing it's different. For, it's in the U.S., so nothing different. No, no, no. no this, is, this is their cell phone number. Me. They yeah, put this it is, on the page. Yeah. This, this isn't phone sex, dude. 
You're calling to actually meet a transvestite. I'm waiting on your uh, message, David. Hey, dude, I'm, it's yeah. a hey, private right now, number. This guy, this guy is, uh, he might beat your ass, Donald. Be careful. How you doing? <laughs> well, who he is just it? Us on the, um, the blonde, blonde brunette or redhead? It don't matter. Well, I don't know what <laughs> it is. I mean, he's got a brunette okay. looking wig on. Right I got now. your number. I got your number now. I'm going to call it, okay? Let me yeah, write it down here. Let me write it down here. Okay, don't put it down I won't. All right, you guys, I'm writing this number down. Is this a, is this a yeah, man I'm going to talk to? Yes. Well, that's what the transvestite is. So you guys want me to act like I'm oh a man, like a woman, right? Um, okay. No. Yes. No. No, no, just try to pick it up. Ask for price. Okay, okay. Like, make I it a regular got, transaction. Got, okay, all right. I'm going to make it. Like you're buying a Chevy pickup. All right, here I go, everybody. It's listening to Henry's work. Um, here I go in, on the armed radio. Oh, dude, I'm calling another now. Girl. I almost send you pictures of Okay, it. here it goes. I'm dialing now, guys. Here it goes. Right, Dave, se Dave, send me a picture. I need to see this. Yeah, I'm yeah, sending you a picture of it right now. Don't get me laughing, guys. <laughs> you know, you can send this <laughs> over to TeamSpeak. Hello. Uh, yes. Uh, who am I talking to? Uh, this is Candy. Candy. Um, Candy. This is uh Donna. How you doing tonight? Oh, pretty good. How are you? Oh, uh, pretty good. I got your number on a website. Is it okay that I call you like this? Um, I I guess. What is this in a gun? Well, I don't know. Um, the website's kind of, um, I don't know. Um, I mean, is this, do you charge money or what do we do here? I mean, how does this work? Um, well, I, um, I mean, I, you know, I, I book different appointments depending on time. So you actually come, you come to my house? I mean. No, no, I only have you come to me. So I, I'd come to your house then? Yeah. Now, um. I don't know. I've never done this before. I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually married, but I'm just, um, I'm trying to try different things. I'm going through like a change of life, and um, I'm trying something different, new, and um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of shy. So, um, I don't know. Um, I've got money saved. I mean, what do you? Is, I mean, how much do you charge okay, for me I mean, to come over? It's five to five in my time, and it's um, hundred for an hour, or sixty for an hour. Now what now? Oh, I, she, I didn't understand. She's high. Uh, hundred for an hour. How much an hour? Hundred for an hour. Hundred for an hour. Now, um, now you are a man, right? Because I'm wanting something different. I mean, I've been with a wife for like twenty eight years, and I've never done that, and I'm starting to experiment a little bit. Okay. Well, so, I mean, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we can do whatever we want with our time. Do you wear? Um, do you may you may you're going to wear a condom and stuff, though, right? Oh, of course, always. And you're clean. You got no diseases or nothing like that. No, and you don't. No, no. I've been married for twenty eight years. Um, I'm, I'm, I've been clean my whole life. Um, but um, now, now you're transgender, correct? Yeah. Now, see, now that means that you just dress like a woman, but you're really a man, correct? Well, I mean, I guess, you know, at the end of the day, that's what it is. But. is it, I mean, do you make, do you do pretty good business? I mean, there's a lot of guys come over there like that. I mean, I just don't want to be like the, your first customer or nothing. You know what I mean? Oh, my goodness. No, you're not my first customer by any means. I've been doing this for quite some time, and um, I you know. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't know there's places like you could do this on the phone and stuff. I didn't know anything about this kind of stuff. Pretty neat. Well, I think you. Um, I want to. I want to thank you for talking to me. And um, um, so let me. Let me. I guess I got to go pull out some money out of my bank. And um, what do I do? Just call you and get your address, or what? Call you back later or call something. Me, call me like a half hour before you're ready to meet. You know, send me the address. Now, are you around the Cincinnati or Dayton area? Are you in Ohio, right? No, I'm in Cleveland, though. Oh, okay, okay. That's not that far. Um, yeah, I, it only take me about two hours to get to your house. Um, yeah, um, I don't know. I'm, the airport. I'm really close to Cleveland Airport. I'm within five minutes of Cleveland Airport, so you could judge it that way. Do you live in a good neighborhood? Because I'm scared to go into, like, really bad neighborhoods. Are you living in a pretty no, nice... No, no, it's nothing bad. It's just a uh, working uh, our neighborhood. So a hundred dollars for one hour, and anything goes, yeah. right? Well, we can do whatever we want with the time. If the money is restricted for the time. Okay. All right. Well, I thank you, and uh, let me see what I can do, and I'll call you back there. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.
You guys, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh my god, that was fucking <laughs> awesome. Was so I was so sick. I was pissed. Oh my god, dude, you just did so calmly, so matter of fact. That was fucking perfect. Paul, I almost Holy killed Paul. Holy shit. This guy sounded like a woman, dude. So, so you're going to wear a condom, right? <laughs> I mean, this is sick, Paul. I feel weird. Don, have you done it. this before? Oh, my God, yeah. This isn't his first yeah, It ain't his first rodeo. No, I say prank calls, but now it's a transgender. Oh, my fucking Henry. Hey. Henry, everybody at Henry's work, I've never called nobody like this before. <laughs> hey, oh, he he did a hell of a job. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know his private great. role goal for nothing. Oh my god. We do, do you know what you gotta do another one. A hundred bucks over an hour, guys. <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> what was his name? Uh, I forget even get the dude's name. Uh, I think it was Candy. candy. Candy, that's it. And I tried. I tried to use that feminine voice. No, you chew I tried, on oh, candy. I tried oh, to talk no, sincere. No. I tried, Linda. No, I, I, I can't fucking believe you did that. I can't fucking believe you did that. Yeah, I know. That was good. You can't oh, believe it. Oh my god. So, so now, you want me to do another Jesus. one? I'll do another one. Oh, hold on. Do, do, do I have to? That was a. You did it, hey, Donald. Next time I gotta call you. Set. Can you do that for me? Uh, is it time hot now? I gotta call into work sick. Yeah, yeah, uh, I can do that, but, um, I used to prank people when I was a kid, but not transgenders or nothing, um, oh, I felt you, you, you guys, you I doing? really felt dirty, I, I felt dirty. Well, you, no, you should, because you were really good at doing that. That was nasty, though, Paul. <laughs> oh, that was fucking cool. Yeah, okay, you did a good job, Robert. Give me another number. Wow. Let me do this again. I'm having you, fun. Let's do it again. Deserve, yeah, do it again. Get him another uh, number. Hold on. I'm I'm looking for you one. Oh, this now, one's Vixen. You guys got to uh, tell, tell me some things. I like the name. Oh, uh, when I, let Paul do this one. No, never. No, Donald's great at it. Put the bad man up to it. I, 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 I'm sending you. I'm sending you. Hey, yeah, if this guy calls me back later, I'm blocking this dude's number, man. Oh, no, hey, I can see why, it now. Hey, Linda sent me a message. <laughs> Linda sent me a message and said, tell Donald they got his number. She will call him. He left him. That's not why he she no. will call him back. That's right, dude. Donald, he gave you number out tonight. No, as soon as I get off this radio show, I'm, I'm blocking these freaking numbers, Don, guys. Don, I would, star 67 I would, the number. Star 67. Oh, shit. I didn't even think about doing that, Dave. I didn't even star 67 it, man. Candy's going to think I'm coming over with 100 bucks. <laughs> I just, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm walking here in a minute. Linda's here telling me they got my number. Oh, my God, me another one. Let's do another one. Uh, hold on, I'm going to send you another one. I'm going to get dirty number. this time. You guys want me to get really dirty this time? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Uh, this one, really thing, this, this one. Hey, hey now, this. wait a minute. As long as I don't make a deal, well, they can't get me in jail for nothing, right? As long as no. I don't give them no money, right? No, oh, you're right. Right. And, 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 if they play this work. in court, first of all, they're they laughing, laughing out of so court. fucking yeah, hard. Yeah, all right, because it is. We're having fun with these guys. Hey, Donald, there you go. This one, all right. And don't worry. He, this he, she's name is well, Vixen. Listen, Dave. Uh, Vixen. Dave, uh, I'm going to write this number down, and I'm going to call it. But Jake. last time I just hit call. Jake, I'm going to about Star, star 67, star 67. Hang on, let me write it down here so this time I don't have to just hit push to call. Five, hey, Paul, I'm, I'm going to send you pictures of this one, too. Yeah, oh, I need to see this. All right, I'm, here, I'm getting ready to write You've seen now. the first one, right? Oh, God, yeah. They may not answer if I star 67 it, though, you guys. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. They may not. Well, I'll try it. Let me try to star, six, it's star 67, right? Yeah. Star 67. Here I go, guys. Here I go. Uh, we're going to hell. We're going to hell. In about we're, all, we're, going to, we're all going to hell for this. I hope this ain't. I hope I'm okay. I got it right here. For, uh, I hope Russ is listening to this. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I really right. Here it goes. I'm, I'm dialing. I'm ringing it. Let's get ready to ring now, guys. Here it goes. What's his name? Vixen. Cut the mic. Vixen. Cut the mic. Jimmy, cut our mic. Uh, I can answer. At Star 67, I'm hiding from my wife. <laughs> That's, That's what idea. I'll tell him. That's what I'll tell him. 
Dave, they're, I don't think they're going to answer when it's star 67, man. They're not going to answer, guys. The text now subscriber you were trying to reach. Nope. Um, Dave, I, I think that's what it is at star 67. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and call this last one, Dave, and um, without star 67, then I'll block these numbers when I get done here, okay? All right, here I'm going to call without star 67. Let's see what happens. This is a guy, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a he, she. Oh, gosh. Here it goes. Here it goes. You know they're going to answer this time. If not, I got another one here for you. Man, there's a lot of these on here. Well, send it real quick that way I can call. Now these guys will be calling me back now. Well, I got to block the number, though, so. Yeah, Dave, send me another number. That one's not going to answer. I'm sending it to you now. now We're so going to. We're right, so I'm going wait. to hell for this. I'm waiting on the number, Dave. I'm waiting right now. I'm waiting. Well, you're, you're sounding awful excited here. Well, I just, uh, I want to, uh, for Henry and them to laugh. Uh, now, you guys, I'm I'm straight, man. I've been married for tw over 28 years. i got two daughters, four grandsons, but I'm having fun with these people. Oh, I got it just now, Dave. Here I go. Yeah, I'm calling right now. Here we go. Let's try. What's his name? And don't say, it says, come keep me company. All come right, keep here, me company. Here it goes. I don't get in trouble over this crap. I hope my wife ain't listening to this. I don't think these... They already got... Probably got company right now. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I heard crackling in the ringtone, man. This is weird, you guys. I can't even believe there's numbers like this on, 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 on the internet. You have reached the voicemail box of 5-1. See, I, I'm going to hang it up there, but... Uh, Hold on, dude, there's Dave. a whole page of them. Hold on, I'll send you another one. If Jimmy and him wants me to keep doing this, but i got to get rid of all these numbers when I'm done. <laughs> I'd block it first. Keep going. This this, all, right, all right, give me another number. I'm waiting, Dave. I know one of them will answer here, but oh, I'm going to get a little dirtier with this one. The next one, I'm going to get dirty. Now, hold, uh, hold on, hold on. This one's, this one's got a video. Well, send me the number. I'm going to have my wife go in and clear these damn phone numbers out of my phone. As I'm done. <laughs> I don't want these freaks calling me at 3 o'clock in the morning. This is Candy. Where are you at, honey? I'm like, man, Candy, I'm a man, and I'm not messing with you. Leave me alone, Candy. Wait. Oh, my God. All right, I'm sending you the number, Don. All right, I'm waiting right now. I got it open right now. Okay, um, I see it bleeping there. As soon as you send it, I'll call it. I'm not dialing star 67, either. I'm dialing direct. So, um... We want to you get go, another person. You're going like to have to go one. change your. You're going to have to go change your phone number tomorrow. Okay, I got it. I just got it. I'm calling it now. Um, here it goes. Any name on this one? I'm gonna get dirty with this one, you guys. This is a prank now. Remember, this you guys. Is, this this is a big one right here. This is a big one. Big guy. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Tons of fun. Yeah. Big right. chocolate one. I don't know why they're not answering now, man. Something's up here. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, hi. I can barely hear you. You got your music playing really loud. Uh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Okay. Um, What's going on? Uh, not a whole lot. I got your number off the internet. Um, um, can I get your uh, number? I, I, I'll tell you straight up. I'm a married guy, and I'm looking for something different, and um, I'm not a cop or nothing. I'm just, uh, I'm a bored guy. You know what I mean? I've been married for 28 years. I have never done nothing uh -huh. like this. Um, so how does this how does this work? I mean, do we just talk? or? Where like, are you at? Where are you at? I'm in Ohio. What, where, what state are you in? Where are you at? I'm in Ohio, so we're in Ohio. I'm in Columbus. Oh, no, I'm in Cincinnati, thank you. Well, I'm that's a, that's just a two-hour drive from here, from my house. Huh? Uh, Cincinnati is only a two-hour drive from my house. Oh, uh, well, I'm here. That's why. That's why I'm not in Cincinnati. Oh, would well, can we get together or something, or? Well, we could. I mean, I mean, we had to figure out. Like, what are you trying to get into? Do you want the boyfriend and girlfriend to spend? Well, I don't know. Uh, it's just something uh, different. I've never done this before. I mean, um.
Well, I just um, how do I mean? Do I come to your house? Do you come to my house? How's this work? Well, you just come to my house. Now, now, are you you are male, right? A male. I'm transsexual. Okay, because I'm I'm a straight guy, but I, I'm trying to look for something different. You know what I mean? And uh, okay, I understand what you're saying, honey. I've been I married for 28 years, and um, so are you are you a good looking guy, or are you um, what do you what do you look like? I mean, I don't know what guys look like. I've really never judged a guy. I mean, so you dress like a woman then? Hello? Hello? Uh, something happened to you guys. I, I, she hung up on me. <laughs> I couldn't get it. She, she caught on to something. She that was hysterical, yeah, that, that one wasn't going to happen. We had to shut the mic off of for that one. one. You guys, I'm not, Donald, I don't think... Donald, yes. that's because their pictures, their pictures are on the computer. Arm. You see what she looks like, what it looks like on the computer. But I didn't yeah, see her pictures, see? see? Yeah, no, you know what? So they... I like what you said, oh, I'm not a cop or nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, not a cop or so nothing. She hung up because she figured I might have been a cop, right? Or he did. No, he did. no, she no, knew it. you were messing with him when you said you, you didn't see her picture. Yeah, because oh. you're looking at the fucking picture on the screen. What you call? Oh, God. <laughs> you guys, I, I'll tell you what, this is funny, but it's kind of sick in a way that these men actually put ads out there for men to call them. It's Dude, sickening. They got pictures. Look, they make videos. They Listen. <laughs> you hear that? How do you know so much they make? Baby boy? You know, you know, I know I answered that, Donald. What? How? There's four billion people in the world, and they all act <laughs> different. Now that one there sounded like a woman. She sounded like a woman, man. So, so did the, the first one. one. Oh, so that first the one had a yeah, guy no. voice, though, man. I mean, it was. You guys, I don't know. Um, I wish one of you guys would do this and see how dirty this feels. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like no. I feel no. like I'm a guinea pig here. I feel like a guinea pig. Would ever go into my phone? You a fucking. <laughs> we still have some time. You want to call another? You're good at this. You've done All this. All right, let's before. call one let's more. Give me, give me another one, Dave. You're not allowed. But you got to tell me. Um, I won't ask them what they look like this time. I I won't go there. <laughs> no, because you're supposed to know what they look like. Hold on, I'm trying to find you one here. We're so going to hell for this. Do, do what Sammy V did. Tell him you, you just got this desire to be with the transvestite. So you want me to tell him I've got like a desire? They're 80%. Yeah, you're supposed to act. You're supposed to already know what they are, Donald, because you have you have you have a yearning to be private wrong hole. So I just I'm I'm look I'm trying to be a guy who's trying to experiment, right? And well, uh, if you yeah, you're not asking for a certain group and you you're not gonna pass that fucking test. You're you're new. No. You're yeah. let him go new. Don't even tell him what to say. So just get on there and um, ask. Just them. keep doing what you're doing. There's you another. There's you another number, right? Yeah, just keep doing. Right. Right. What you're doing. I've got you five gotta... or six numbers now. I've got to. Um, I got to. Uh, I got to get off my phone here. Mr. Talk? Here I go. Here I go. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Here I go. All right, get ready to cut you the mic. I know what you look like. Remember, it'd be ringing. I don't know what's up here. I don't know what happened. Um. Hey, let me make sure my dang on. You know what I think I did? I turned my speaker off, you guys. I thought I was done. Hang on a second. Um, we're going to get a good one on here in a minute. We're going to have some fun with this dude. I mean, this is <laughs> sick, but um, I did. I, you know what? That was ringing, you guys, and my speaker is off. So let me go back and redial this number, okay? Here I go. All right, here it is. They probably heard me talking a minute ago. Uh-oh, I just got a message back that says, hey there, for them numbers, Dave. Somebody just sent me a message. <laughs> well, that's one of the ones you want to call back. Oh, uh, shoot. Um, said, hey there. I mean, which one was it? Hold on, which one was it? It was the, uh, I got it right here. I'm going to call it back. You me, have reached the voicemail. Ah, uh, let me set that off there. Um, hang on. I got it right here, Dave. I'm going to call the number back. Hold on. Hey there. It says, hey there. Ugh. Was it the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth one? Uh, let me look here real quick in your messages. Um, They're right in a row. 
It was the, it's actually the first one I just got, the one I just got done dialing sent me a message. The one it you said, hey there. The no, one the talked. one I just dialed, it didn't answer. I'll call it back again. It said, hey there. That's let's, see if they, let's see if they answer this time. You know what? I feel so dirty. They sent me a text message. Oh, God, you guys, they're not going to... All right, this is nasty. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call that first one back. Oh, uh, what, whatever the name was. Uh, I'm going to tell that first one that... Um, ask them if they can come down on their prices a little bit. All right, here I go. I'm going to call the first one back, you guys. Tell them you can only come up with $75. <laughs> oh, this one here says, can't talk. Can you call back in 15 minutes? That one I just called. I'm getting messages from transvestites. Here we go. Here we go. I'm calling it. I'm calling that first one back. I'll see if I can get a discount. You know your phone is being infected with so many fucking viruses right now. I'm, you guys, I'm gonna charge you. <laughs> Hello. Um, I just talked to you earlier, and um, I went to the bank, but I only got like seventy-five bucks. Um, could would you do anything with seventy-five bucks? Yeah, we can work with that. Seventy-five bucks would work. Yeah. Right, just for now, is it like going to be forty-five minutes or the full hour for seventy-five? No, I'm probably nice forty-five minutes. You're going to do forty-five minutes now. This includes everything now, right, or just certain things? Well, no, whatever we feel like doing. Well, I like I, really quote, I can't. I can't quote prices for a stack stuff. Oh, I understand that. I, I understand that. But um, like I said, I've never done anything like this before, and um, I don't know. I'm just curious. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, uh, you just have to let me know when you're ready, and I'll send you address. All right. Well, um, what was your first name again? I forget when I called it the first time. Candy? Candy, yes. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, is, well, is there anything you need to know about me or anything? No. Yeah, when would you like to do this, do you think? Now, if I bring a friend, now, it's, now he come with seventy five dollars. Can he come in too? Um, sure. I mean, I got a friend. He's, I mean, he's a big, he's a big guy, though. I mean, his guy weighs like four hundred pounds. So, I mean, he is a very large guy. I mean, he's got a big beard. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you that would scare you or not, though. Mm -hmm. Uh Would it be okay for me to bring him? Um, if you want to. I mean, he's uh, he's married too, but um, I, I, Candy, I'll call you back, okay? Let me call my buddy. I mean, his, his name is Jimmy. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Linda, come and get my phone and block these fucking numbers. <laughs> Linda. Block these last six numbers here, Linda. <laughs> oh, this fucking piss up. I don't know if he hung up yet. I'm not getting in yet. Oh, no, God. I hung up. I hung up. I started oh laughing. God. I was going to say, my buddy's name is Jimmy, Jimmy Daniels. <laughs> gold. Oh, my God. <laughs> Linda. I don't fucking believe you can do that like that. Uh, I got to block these numbers, you when guys. You up, I want to bring a friend. I got a friend. <laughs> I just said to myself, he did it. He fucking you know, this is dancing with the pedophiles. Yes. That's what he reminded you me of. show up with a fucking six-pack of wine coolers. No, you I know what? I was thinking that show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Phone a friend. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, you guys. Can okay, I I'm... phone a friend? Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, and, my and the funny part is, is, is that fucking thing thinks she's still coming. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of these numbers, you guys. This is scary. I've never done nothing like this. So. Oh, no. like, oh, you've like, never done this? Not with no you've transgenders. done this for quite a while. Yeah. No, not with no transgender people. Oh, okay. oh so you have done it, you have done it before, just not transgenders. That was great. What you're I got 75 bucks. <laughs> well, <laughs> they said, uh, what was it for... Uh, 40, 75 she said she'd, uh, or he said 45 minutes, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a discount. A little time, but still. I got a discount. Yeah, but then he said you were bringing a friend, so you, you, you should have asked her if she'd do a two-for-one special. <laughs> two-for-one. I was going to pay did. 
I was gonna say I was gonna tell him my friend's name was Jimmy Daniels. Give him those names. <laughs> that was really awesome. There you go. Hey, did you oh, know, did you go. Go. Great. You could have asked it if it knew what huh? CIM was. I'm blocking him right now. I'm getting ready yeah. to speak. <laughs> Yeah, you should have started asking for shit like that. Yeah, do you know, can I do, do CIM? Do you know what CIM is? It's terms. Donald Coates and Dave Westman. No. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just now, got, I got the last one blocked, you guys. They're blocked now. Dave um, Skymo. <laughs> Dave Skymo, that's a good <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> uh, where's Jeremy? Have we lost Jeremy? Jeremy yeah, I think he, I think he uh, dropped out. Is this Friday? He, yeah, he must be he with the He probably said after two hours, fuck this, I'm done. I don't blame him. Hey, now yeah. listen. That candy thinks she's got 150 bucks on the way, guys. Me and some big fat guys on the way to her house, his house. <laughs> <laughs> and and oh, he basically my. said anything. So this guy was ready to go bend over. That's nasty, man. <laughs> like I said, it had probably already called its crack dealer and said, yeah, the money will be here in about 70, yeah. you know, okay. an hour. <laughs> oh my God! I didn't think them people really did this. So you guys, I really you didn't. You should have asked them if they knew what CIM was, Donald. Yeah, I should no, have. I, how many people are in the world? How many billion? Seven. Oh, see, I forget seven how many people. Billion. billion. They're all getting laid. They're all doing weird shit. Yeah, but not you know what? Weird. Not most of them. People's gonna think uh, I'm weird tonight. Majority. I want everybody out there to know I am just joking, you guys. I am, I am, oh I am a heterosexual but straight you got man. You the numbers in your phone, Donald. I would start doing some quick deletions. I did. I already. I blocked them oh, all. Just now. I just blocked them. Yeah, I blocked every <laughs> number just now. I don't <laughs> want Candy calling call me like tonight. Stop. Candy's, Candy's waiting on me to come in her ha his house right now. No, she's not waiting for you to come in her house. She's waiting for you to come somewhere else. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's you guys. I feel, I feel disgusting tonight. I really do. I feel, I feel like I've done something horrible. You, you better go get a shower when you're done. So yeah, right, exactly. You've done this before. No, not with eating. Listen, you guys, I'm going to tell you the truth. I have never talked, at least I don't know, that I've never talked to a transgender in my life. I've never talked to one. Well, you I just did. So, that's what's nice. new, but you've done this before, but that's what's new is the transgender. Well, yeah. when I was young, I used to, we used to prank our buddies. I mean, we, we did it good. When you were young, you what? Like, can I hear when, when I was young, we would call, like, our friend's parents and act like they were in jail, and we would say, this Detective Clawson down here at Middletown Police Department, we got your daughter down here at the jail. She was out drinking tonight, and, um... Um, we would just talk for like 20 minutes, and we did this like every night. That's what, I was a master no, pranker. I know you had a, a yeah, experience, some experience in it. Exactly. Oh, and God. Well, I mean, he I mean, did grow up in Ohio, Jimmy. How interesting can that be? No, it is interesting. Time. It's the same as Massachusetts. Same, oh, not that far. No, it's it. not the same as they Massachusetts. They found blue to red. Well, we got a whole factory of people listening to us right now, guys. It's, they said it's going across the the PA system. Well, they're all laughing their tails off. That's for sure. <laughs> now I'll go to my Facebook account and I'll have half my friends delete me now. Don't do this because we're live, buddy. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm saying it to the. We got an audience here tonight. Oh, you've got a big audience tonight. Um, well, we got two people that are listening, eh? Chris hey, sent uh, me a message. Chris has got a number. He was, he's wanting me to call. Uh, I don't even know who it is. <laughs> take, take the call. You want me to call Chris's number? Call it. Call it. Here, wait a minute. Let me. Uh, now let remember, me, you're in Louisiana now, though. Let me. Let me go back uh, to Chris's message. Um, Chris sent me a message. Uh, oh God, that one gay guy sent me a message. I can't believe that's on there. One gay guy. Or transgender, whatever the heck. That, he was. They're not Tell gay. They're transgender. The uh, let me find Chris's, um, he sent me a message, you guys, saying he had a number to call. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, shoot, now i got to search, you guys. Um, this yeah, is pretty I nuts. I, I wouldn't expect this tonight. This. All right, I've got Chris right here. Um, he said uh, he's got a number, but he didn't send it to me. Chris, send me the number, man. If you're listening, send the oh, number. Dude, I, I had all kinds of numbers if you wanted numbers. Well, um, those numbers are scary, Dave. Those numbers start well, scaring well, me. I'll oh, you. come on! I'll get you a regular gay guy. How's that? Uh, let's call it. Let's call a woman prostitute or something. 
<laughs> you could do that and try to okay. shoot you down. Just shoot uh, you down. You wanted to shoot uh, me down, or you want me to try to get no, a call? No, 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 try to no, get the price to... lowered. Yeah, get the price lower. Work on that. Oh, just get the price down. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, I, I gotta go back. I gotta go back to it now. I gotta find it here. Oh, Hold on, I'll find the one, Donald. I can only afford sixty dollars. You, do you know what, Donald? Use what? the cancer thing. You just got done yeah, with the boat of cancer. What about offer a pizza too? Say, so I, I make pizza. Can I can I bring some pizza with me and um, ten bucks yeah. or something? And a six pack of wine coolers. Yeah, save some money. <laughs> Now, I can't go to jail for this, can I? Because a prank yeah. is more than one, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, try to bother for it. Don't use your full name there, buddy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I did. I only gave my first name, but uh, I'll make my name something else. All like right, I'm Jim sending you a number, Donald. I'm going to say Jimmy Daniels or something. I'll no, that's fine. Right, okay. That's fine. Hey, no, Jim Shoe, Donald. Your, your name is Jim Shoe. Okay, Dave, I see your number coming through right now. This is no, a woman, no, right? No, no, that's Chris's. Huh? Yeah, that's Chris. No, I'm on your I'm on your messenger right now, Dave. I just okay. got a number. Here there I go. Is. Here I go. Here I go. Um, <laughs> this is a, this is a reg this is a regular girl, Donald. All right, just the prostitute, right? Yeah. All right, here I go. Oh shit. Ohio. Yeah, Cincinnati. Okay. What it says anyway. Hmm. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hello. Hello. Les just texted me and said, "Ask for a military discount." <laughs> um. Not going to answer, Dave. Now this. Now this chick's going to be calling me up tonight. Oh <laughs> uh, no! There's, dude. There's. This is ridiculous. I mean, these people. There's How are they going to make any money if they're not, um, <laughs> okay, um, they, they, they obviously need to learn how capitalism works. <laughs> okay, Chris just sent me a number, I don't know who it is, but I'm going to go ahead and call it, and he says backpack or something, back page or something, I don't know, but I'm going to call it and see who it is, and All right, I'll just make it up as I go, guys, I don't know who, this is from Chris Fitzwater, who sent me this number, so here it goes. Oh, uh, here it is. You're in Louisiana, remember. I don't think they're going to Hello? Hello, um, who am I speaking to? Tara? Uh, Tara? Yeah, would you like to see me? Uh, yeah, I'd like to see you, but, um, how do I, I mean, um, I don't, I, I need to know how much because I don't really have a whole lot of money. Um, and I've never oh. done this before. I, I'm married, but I'm looking for... Something different. I'm looking for a change. You know what I mean? Well, it's 80 per half hour or 120 per hour. Wait a minute. It's 100 bucks an hour, you said? It's 120 per hour. 124 an hour. And, Kara, um, what? I, I'm calling from Ohio so, or, or Louisiana, uh, DeRitter. Are you close to DeRitter, Louisiana? No, I'm in Toledo, Ohio, hon. Are you a truck driver? Yeah, I am a truck driver. I, I didn't really, I mean, um, I hate to use my full name on here, though, but I'm passing through, and uh, I've seen this on the Internet. So, um, um, like I said, I've been married for 28 years, and I've never cheated or nothing like that. But, um, and you said 125. Now, um, I've got a bunch of wine and stuff in my truck. Would you, like, take 90 and a bunch of, um, if I brought some liquor or something? I mean, you can just give me, you can just give me the ninety for an hour, hon. I guess you'll you'll take ninety bucks for an hour. Now, um, I got a question though. It's a serious question because I've never had a disease or anything. Uh, are you clean? I mean, you know, diseases or nothing like that. Yeah, I'm clean. Where are you located, though? I'm I'm kind of um getting ready to. Later. I'm like I'm getting ready. I'm getting close to Toledo right now, Ohio. In my truck. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, they got truck parking across the street from where I live. If you want, uh, 
I can text you the address. Wow, I mean, so I come to your house, you're just going to come over and get in my truck then. I've never done this. I mean, I'm sorry for being noob and, and acting stupid, but I've never done nothing like this before. I'm actually cheating on my uh, life. I live across the street from the truck where you can park your truck. You can just walk over to my house till you get there. I can text you the address. Okay, now I might be a little bit, but... um. Is it a bad neighborhood? Am I going to get beat up or anything? Because um, I you know I, I don't carry a gun or nothing. I don't want to get beat up. I mean, is, you live in a pretty nice Tell neighborhood. Tell your fat. Tell yeah, your fat. Nice now, now, would it matter if, if what I look like? Because I'm, I'm kind of big. I'm, I, I weigh like 400 and some pounds, and I've never done this before. Does it matter what I look like? I'm not a good looking man. No, it's fine. I just call me when you get there. I'll text you the address, okay? Hey, it sounds great. Now, um, so this a, you, you said a whole hour for ninety, right? And then anything goes, or just certain things. I mean, everything's covered. If you want anal, it's fifty dollars extra. Fifty for anal. Now, um, uh, what about dinner afterwards? I could buy us a pizza and sit around and talk for a few minutes. Would that be cool? No. No, hon, I'm cool. You just call me when you get there. I mean, I'll text you the address, okay? Oh, I'm, I'm really into the anal part, though. I may bring some extra money for that. Thank you. I'll call you, right? I'll give you a text. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> anal, really? 50 bucks for anal, she said? 50 extra. <laughs> 50 that was, extra ex that was oh, excellent, buddy. You, you've done this before. Wow. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, you guys. Uh, I'm just trying to make a good show here tonight. I uh, the oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Henry just sent me another message. I don't even know what it says here. I'm, I'm kind of nervous here, you guys. Yeah, this, this is, is a hand buddy. This you is a big head. Uh, we went the extra hour. Oh, one of these fucking freaks are going to come back and kill you. <laughs> no, they're not. Because I'm getting rid of these freaking numbers right now. <laughs> uh, would it be funny if one of these fucking he she's happened to just be listening to the show? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait a minute, I just got a message from Henry. He said, "Oh, yeah, yeah." Let me read it. I just got rid of it. It says, uh, "Oh, this is great. You're doing good." So they're having fun. Henry, send me a message. Is everybody in the factory still listen to me make an ass of myself on the? Oh no, you're not making an ass of yourself. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you guys got me to do this, man, really. I can't believe you fucking did it so well. Yeah, exactly, I know, you got some uh, experience. Well, the you thing is, talent, is Dave, Dave always tells us in the militia, if you're going to do something good, do it right. Do it you know, right. Gonna, well, actually, picking up transvestites isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, the last one was a lady. She was a woman wanting to sell me her body. <laughs> no, you talked her down thirty-five bucks right off the right. go. No, but yeah. she wanted fifty bucks. I, I tell you, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even do a woman in the, in the rear. I think it's nasty myself. The smell of shit turns me off. I know that. <laughs> I would give her fifty bucks. I would give her. Uh, I would give her five dollars to go to her house. To be honest with you. Oh my god. <laughs> That's nasty, you guys. I've done something really nasty here tonight. I'm going to regret this. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you did something very good, Donald. You no, guys think... No, um, say that. He's gonna, this is, feeds into lessons, you a heathen. So what? <laughs> I should have asked for a military discount, that lady. I should have asked for that. I know. Well, see me citizen or something like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. She didn't want pizza, you guys. She didn't want no pizza. She wanted to get it over with and me leave. He said, no, um, we don't have pizza afterwards. I said, well, I'm a big guy, and, um, well, you guys heard it. I don't have to tell you, but. Yeah, um, well, you, well, actually, Donald, that's the one thing you didn't lie about. Well, I'm not 400 pounds. <laughs> I was all for about 150 pounds. I'm not that big, but um, I was going to tell her I'm really tiny. I should have got into being no, tiny. No, 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 big, big, big. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, tell you, you're like 500 pounds. So I should have asked her, what there's is it too big to go in? I'll be pulling up number. on my rascal she in about 15 minutes. Like. <laughs> you guys, yeah. Can you see your picture? Because he's seen what she looked like. Do you really want me to call one more day? Oh, I don't know. Dave, did you send me a picture of this one? No, I'm get, I'll send you one. Do you yeah, really want me to call this last one. number, Dave? Yeah, call it. 
it, Jimmy, it, it, Paul. It actually looks like a dude. I'm going to ask Jimmy and Paul. <laughs> do you want me to do one more number, you guys? Sure. Oh, please do. All right, now, is this a guy or yeah. a girl? Do you want Donald? Whatever this is a girl, Donald. A girl. No, this is a girl? What state, Dave? So I don't Ohio. get this stuff. Ohio. Local okay. number. Look at the number. It's 513. Yep. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, we shop local, Donald. I'm going to tell her I'm a truck driver. Uh, okay, here I go. Here I go. Here's you got a local number, ringing. too. You know, <laughs> here it is. Just start ringing. Wait a minute, I turned my dad on the speaker off again. I thought I was done again, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got feeling dirty, man. I really did. <laughs> Hang on, it won't take me a second. All right, it's back. I'll dial the number. Here I go again. All right, here it goes. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know what I'm going to get into on this one. Oh, Lord. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. I've lost my mind. Ask for how much for around the world. Around the world? Uh, she must have a John. Your call has been forwarded. She's already got a John, you guys. She's already busy. Hold um, on. You got a bunch of them to choose from here. Hold on. Now, wait a minute. Now, i got to get rid of these numbers. I, I'm still in there building these numbers. I'm going to get some really... These hey, it's Friday night. They're busy. They're yeah, probably over the That's what I'm saying. Friday they're night booked, night. you guys. These these women are making money in guys. These exactly. guys are, these are hard-working they... men here. <laughs> no, these are women. <laughs> oh, but though, that one was a, that <laughs> one was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost track. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. I'm just calling one. They all got I a I work hold. hard for my money. <laughs> I go <laughs> hard <laughs> for my money. <laughs> hey, Donald, Donald. I got the one, number. This one has a picture of her feet on here. All right. So I'm going to get a foot finish. Like she's got nice feet. All yeah. Right. All right. Hey, here goes. Last, last one. Last one. by two feet for my second one. Last one I'm doing, guys. And. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I don't know what happened. Uh, are you there? I don't know what happened. It just, uh, it just quit ringing. I'll call it back. I'll call it back one more time, you guys, and this is it, because I'm feeling dirty, man. <laughs> I've never done something like this, you know, on this kind of level. I'm, uh, yes, uh, can I ask who I'm talking to, please? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, barely. Oh, I'm sorry. What about now? Is that better? I'm driving. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm in a truck, and I'm driving. So I've I seen your picture um, on on Facebook or on the Internet. You got your feet. And um, yeah. I, I'm in Ohio, and I was wondering um, if you're up to anything tonight. Yes, I am. What part of Ohio, honey? I'm in Middletown between Cincinnati and Dayton. Ma'am, I'm coming. I'm getting ready to come <laughs> no to the Franklin exit, to Franklin, Ohio. I'm on I-75 heading down toward Franklin right now. Okay. Now, um, I'm close then, right? Um, if I get my map out here, I don't think you're too far away from me. But, um, no, not at all. Now, i got to ask you a question, though, or I will tell you something. I, I'm a married man. I've never messed around before. And I've never yep. done anything like this, and I don't even know what, I mean, do you talk, how much would something like this cost? I mean, I don't know. Um, if you're doing just a foot session, it would be 80 bucks. Now, what's a foot session? Because, I mean, what is a foot session? What do you do with your feet? Like, uh, I don't, I don't know. Well, you know. I mean, um, no. Well, like, uh, like foot worship and stuff like that. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're into? Well, I don't know. I just seen your feet. You had some nice looking feet. I mean, are you a nice looking woman too? Well, of course. Well, that's good. You sound like a nice looking woman. Now, um, I gotta the ask you this question. Total package, baby. The total package. That's what I'm talking about. Now, um, what it is, you sound pretty, but I've got to ask you a question. I don't want you to get mad, okay? Um, are you clean? I mean, because you know diseases are bad these days. Well, of course I'm clean, honey, but if we did anything, you, it would be, yeah. And one more question. Do you live in a neighborhood where I could come in where I wouldn't get beat up or something like that? I don't want to get my ass kicked. 
I mean, no, I'm in a perfect neighborhood, honey. So it's a good, nice neighborhood. If I get out of my truck or something, I ain't going to get ripped off or beat up or nothing. No, not at all. Now, um, i got to tell you a little bit about myself um, before we make any kind of thing here. Um, I'm a big guy. I, I'm on my way 400, maybe 500 pounds. Um, and I'm kind of big, though. You know what I mean? In certain areas. Right. Is, is that fine right. with you? I mean, you, you don't care about a big... I'm kind of a big, fat, ball-headed, ugly guy. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to make you sick when I get there because of my looks. No. And I've got a hairy back too. I know hairy backs turn women off too. Hairy backs do. You? Um, I just want to. I just want to give you a heads up so you don't get scared when you see me. And I've got a beard too. I've got a beard, a big long beard. Oh, well, honey, I don't care. You don't care. That's great. You sound like a nice person now. Now, here's the most important thing. Now, um, I've got a debit card, but I do have some cash in my wallet. But um, I think I've got like 70, 80 bucks. I don't know where would I have to stop and get more before I get a hold of you. Well, I can see you for 80 bucks for a half hour. 80 bucks for a half hour. Now, does anything go for that half hour? I mean, we, I, we don't, of course, talk on this on the phone about money or anything. But, um, uh, right. Because okay. I don't like to talk about it. Oh, I don't blame you. I, I don't blame you. I don't want to get in trouble because uh, I am married. I don't want a, my wife to find out or nothing. But um, I just, I've never right. done this before. I've never done nothing like this before. I've never done this. And um, I'm just curious. Right. And so Middletown, there's got a lot of good looking women in Middletown. Oh, you, sound, you sound pretty. I, I am um, legit. Legit. Okay. Everything's clean. Everything's good. And so, all right. Well, um, you got any questions about me? And um, maybe I'll text you here um, when I get off this exit ramp here. Okay, honey. Sounds good. All right. Uh, when you do, I'll, I'll send you off the address. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what was that price again? I forgot what you told me. I, I was I was looking at the road when you told me. It's called Middletown. You talk about my street. Well, no, the, the money, the, the price. I forgot. I was I was looking at the road when you told me how much for a half hour. Eighty. Eighty bucks. That ain't bad. I I think I've got that on me. If not, I, I know I've got fifty. I'll stop at the bank and pull out another thirty dollars. But um, just um, can you do it for forty five minutes if I bring a hundred? Yeah. Now what about this? Now I'm hungry. So after an hour, could I order some dinner? Maybe you want to have dinner afterwards, like a, order a pizza or something or something like that? Well, we can order it during our session, and that way it'll be delivered within that time. But so, I literally live, I, I live right beside Restaurant Alley. Oh, so and there's restaurants know. right there. So so if I stay over to eat, yeah. then it costs me more because that other guy may be trying to come in, right? Maybe. <laughs> I may cost. I may end up we'll losing. Talk, we'll talk more about that. I may end up costing you a customer. Or something. Yeah, I don't want to do that without paying you. So, um, I, I I might just bring something with me. How I just stop and get something on the way if you're hungry. Are you hungry? Sure. Um, what do you like to eat? Do do? Um, I like pizza, or you want Mexican, or what do you want? Pizza's great, and Casano's is right across the street. Okay, Casano's. You want deluxe with that? Alexa, no mushroom. No mushroom. All right, I'll I'll do my best, and I'll stop at the bank, and I'll text you as soon as I get into the Middletown city limits. Then. Sounds perfect. Hey, Talk thanks a lot. Just a bit then. All right, now don't What's get your first name, honey. My first name is uh, Jimmy Jimmy Daniels. That's my that's my name. Did you, did you say Timmy? Jimmy. <laughs> Okay, cool. With a J. J right. J-I-M-M-Y, Jimmy Daniels. Okay. All right, honey. I'll see you here in just a bit then. All right. Thank you, and I'll bring that big pizza with no mushrooms. Sounds perfect, hon. Huh? All right. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> what the hey. fuck was oh, God. That? Oh my God! Hey guys, Middletown's only like three, a uh, five-minute drive from my no, house. We know. Hey, it's even less than that for me. That's two minutes from my fucking house. I didn't know we had whores in Middletown. <laughs> oh my God, that was fucking awesome. That was good, Donald. Don't we wanted a pizza with no mushrooms. <laughs>
you're in a set you with you guys. He should have told her, I'm going to give you a mushroom. Oh, exactly. He should have said, well, no mushrooms except for Jimmy's pizza. <laughs> I'm going to give you one-eyed willy mushroom. Oh, God. I can't oh, believe you guys had me call <laughs> prostitutes tonight and transgender. <laughs> I can't believe I, you did it, dumbass. Hey, look, I took <laughs> that one for the table. Great job. Great job. Middletown, isn't that the town you live in? That's the next town. Oh, I grew up in Middletown, that's, Paul. That's, that's, oh, that's I, I would have mentioned it a whole shitload of times. Yeah. I didn't know there was prostitutes that <laughs> close. That's three minutes from my house, literally. <laughs> Fucking Ty, Ty look back here. He goes, just imagine if he called his cousin. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. Um... I, I I think we made a show tonight. I took one for the team. Now now next week somebody else is gonna have to do this. Right. Oh my god. I don't know if I know, Jimmy. I don't know if I, I can did that. That was the first. Oh, do you my. called back. I, do, I, I can't do that, but I'll figure out something to do. Dave, would you call a prostitute next week? Shoot, dude, my old lady divorced me if I call I mean, if you <laughs> ask her, just ask permission. It Let don't matter. Yes. You want to say, hell no, you ain't calling no hooker. <laughs> you know, Linda's in there listening to me right now. My wife is. Yeah, well, she knows it's not going to oh, go on. No, no, I'm not going to do anything. Go. But, and and uh, you were calling dudes, and she was cool about it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was a big fat guy. Uh, with yeah, if you want Donald, she's a keeper. If, if she's not pissed off about that, that's the one to exactly. keep her life. Oh, you're talking about my wife? I thought you were talking about the prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she did have a pretty voice, but she could have been some big fat woman. Oh, I don't know. Well, I, I, I could have sent you. I don't know. Oh, I got another text from Henry. I wonder what's going on at the factory. Oh, Jesus, I'm sure it's not good. All right, it says you guys need to have Les do it next week. Oh, wouldn't that be great, Les? Yes. Up <laughs> he sounded like an old pervert, <laughs> wouldn't he? Oh, my God, he hates me now. Just imagine that one. Dave yeah. left. He probably got kicked out or something. Oh, Dave, He'll be no back. More Dave. It's no, been doing that, you guys. It's been kicking people out for some reason. I think that's... It's... I'm it's back. Different. There you there go. You know. Dave, I've oh, got all these yes. numbers that you sent me on this messenger, and I don't know how to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know how. I'll throw the phone away. And get a I think one. I'm going to get rid of this phone. It's now tainted. This phone that is phone tainted. Is, yeah. that it even is. smells Thank bad. You. Hey, Donald. It's that phone tainted. is really dirty now, Donald. You really need to get rid of it. Some serious fucking problems now. I'm going to go have to get saved again after tonight. I'm going to have to ask the Lord for forgiveness. You better, you better, go, you better go see <laughs> Brother Liz. That's a tall order. Uh, this was, it was fun, though. I've had fun tonight, you guys. I really have. I'm like, so yeah. Wow. That's, that third hour really fucking went. Well, it's well, fun when you spread it. Jesus, I did, it did fly by. We, we did three what? hours tonight, gentlemen. <laughs> it, it, it's it's amazing what happens when you start calling transvestites and hookers. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what, you guys? Oh, I never thought given. tonight that this show would end up with me talking to a transvestite <laughs> and look and try and setting up a sex deal. We well, set up no, a sex no, no, deal. No, no. Hey, hey, the one you ended with, the one you ended with, was just a regular <laughs> hooker. She's waiting on pizza right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. I didn't even think of that. She's thinking she's got money and food coming. She wants to eat the fuck at the same time. What was she talking about her feet doing a foot job? What is she talking she's about? She's going to jack you off with her feet. Yeah. I don't want somebody you touching really me with their own nasty feet. Like I said, I've had that happen. That's very great. Well, Jimmy, you want her number? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had it, but my second wife did it, but no problem. Oh, but, God. Uh, oh, God. She's very sexy. Jimmy, I've never done anything like this. Tonight. I mean, you think I'm good at this? But I'm, oh, just, dude, I'm you... just doing it for the team, for the show. No, no you're, you're pro. Pro. That's how you do it. You're giving your all, Donald. I give my all. I did give my all for the team tonight, you guys. Wow, like yeah, you definitely were the standout tonight. Exactly. That's what and wow. you guys know that a lot of people, even my son and all, listen to this show at work. My daughter's listening to this down at the house on, on stereo. 
the, I'm calling you, prostitutes. You you make making deals. I'm making deals. deals. It's playing in a factory somewhere. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm being played in a factory, yeah, guys. Yeah. And I think about this though, Donald. The the one you the one you got down thirty five dollars, then she said fifty for anal. So technically, that anal only cost you fifteen bucks. <laughs> I, I ain't had an anal with that lady. I, if anything, I'd have probably went to that one chick's house and ate pizza and left. Um, uh, if I was a real uh, guy out here looking for sex. Oh um, my god! I mean, the that girl had a pretty. Why it comes when the pizza boy shows up? <laughs> <laughs> we should have got her address and ordered her a pizza. <laughs> All right, I got a message from Henry. He said, um, let everyone know you guys did a great show and got new listeners. These guys are asking for your web address. So I guess to tune in so they can start tuning in our shows. Yeah. Right, well, why, don't, why don't we get what, what time we have left? Why don't we give that information? Well, out? Jimmy, tell them how to do the tune-in app and all that stuff. Don't have to do it. Tune in, you uh, download tunein.com, then you search for Armed Radio, and you can listen to any of the shows on there, but the best place is go to Spreaker.com, uh, again, you uh, look for Arm Radio Global, and you can listen to all the shows there. And another thing, Jimmy, when you first download that TuneIn app, there'll be a red screen that pops up, and it'll ask you about a 30-day trial. All you got to do is hit the X in the upper right-hand corner. That'll get rid of that. Then find a little magnifying glass, and that's where you search Armed Radio. Type in Armed Radio. Yeah, and the name of the show, guys, is All In on Friday night. This is All In. We're all good guys, but we have fun on Friday nights. We like to have fun on Fridays. Yeah, yeah, we we, we do we do it. Yeah, Donald uh, Donald and I do a show on Tuesday nights called All Aboard as a political show, and Paul and Jimmy do one on Thursday nights at eight o'clock called Pot Talk. And it's political. It is a political show as well. This yeah. is our night just to blow off steam. Wow! I, wow! I feel you guys have changed me tonight. I am a different man tonight. Um, when I got to show, well, well you're dirty. We'll never speak to you again ever. Who, who won't? <laughs> I, and I feel sorry. I feel sorry for Linda. She's not going to look at you the same anymore. No, Les texted me and said, "Ask him for a military discount." <laughs> Let, Les is a good sport. We love you, Les. I'm going to give Les that lady's number in case she gets lonely tomorrow night. She <laughs> <laughs> lives right down the road here. She'll still be waiting for the fucking pizza. <laughs> she's, not gonna be she get, no, she, she's not getting no money or no pizza. <laughs> she, she's waiting. I bet she like uh, one of you guys said earlier, these people probably called her drug dealers, getting ready to buy some drugs and stuff, man, you know? All right, we got to get you know going. What they, all right, goodbye, everybody. See you Take guys later. Down. Oh, my God, you're awesome. You're my brother. Dave, uh, Dave, thanks for fucking chiming in with us. You're awesome, too, bro. Yeah, good see night. you guys later. Good night.